Let me know if the stream works and if you can hear me. I tried 60 FPS, but I was dropping hella frames. So let me know if it's okay with 30 FPS. All right, fuck. All right. Do 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 do. Can you guys hear me? I'm just chilling in the chat. All right, is anybody in here? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me, yo? Oh shit, I might be streaming some. Works, let me know who you want me to put Okay, sick. All right. All right, I think um, I'm gonna be streaming uh, Colgate and Zet. Where are they? they So, I think Hero King Zet, he's the, uh, he's the bomb player, I think. He's the bomb, I think, he's the bomb player who plays on demo, who got, like, top eight one. Do, 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 do. Alright. I'm a, I'm a, do I have Zet? Oh, I got him, I'm Yo, zit on stream. Don't know if he's. Uh, I got pinged in the general. Oh. Oh, both these guys already got me. Cool. I knew I had Colgate. I did. I thought I played Zet once, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. Colgate. Okay. 
All right, so right now, okay, guys. So right now we're gonna have a. Uh, I believe Colgate he mains um, Meta Knight and Bell. Uh, he started out as Bell, and then he slowly gravitated towards Meta Knight as the game went on. And I think he main he mains Meta Knight now at this point. He's got a Croc win with his Meta Knight, and we have. This is Hero King Zet, which I believe is the bomb player who plays on demo. If I'm wrong, please. I know there is a bomb player who plays on demo who's super good. I believe that's Zet. If I'm wrong, you know, please let me know. But I believe that is Zet. So if I see bomb, I'll know that's who I'm talking about. So we're just waiting. Yeah, I'm just I'm doing the solo commentary just because uh. And this stream was like last minute or whatever. Theo was supposed to stream, but his laptop was having issues, so I'm streaming. And I don't know how to like, sh I don't know how to Discord share screen any of that stuff. So yeah, it's a good. I'm just just gonna be solo commentary. All right, you guys are in here. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm really curious. I want to see a lot of Colgate's Meta Knight just because I I've, I'm picking up Meta Knight. I think he's. More I guess I'll just go whoever, it doesn't matter. Just wait. Yeah, it doesn't matter who I go. Just as long... I think the Dream Friends apparently have like their dead bodies can like still cause like collision issues, apparently. Yeah, so this is who I thought he was. Alright, cool. Alright, we'll see where they're going game one. Meta Knight Bomb. I've actually wanted to see this matchup because my Meta Knight's still new. I don't know how to hit characters in certain ways. So Bomb is one of those characters you like need to know how to like hit in specific ways without getting hit yourself otherwise you're just going to trade and and i'm good at, i know how to do it with gooey you know he's got a tongue lasers know how to do it with whip and giant whip um but i don't know how to do it with meta knight yet i don't think i've ever played them yeah i'm pretty sure i've never played meta knight bomb so i'm curious to see how colgate goes about it and i am and i want to learn some stuff so let's do it all right who's gonna be who's killing me who's killing me I guess that's going to do it. Oh, shit, I forgot to update the names. Uh, who's, which port? Oh, Colgate, Colgate open. All right, all right. Guy, yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. Colgate. Hero Kings. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, looks like the game started. Uh, Zed's got the lead. Okay, so bomb looks like, dash tech looks like it went through bomb once, but also traded. So I'm not sure of the specifics. Uh, yeah, he's looking like Kobe's looking like he's having trouble right now. Oh, counter could be good if you do it close enough. Yeah, because you'll uh, because Meta Knight's counter has a dash. Oh, he, all right, he got a lock. Good, good stuff. Didn't get the lock. He's gonna get the lead back off of this. All right, so one thing uh, Colgate does is the rule set is um, you're only allowed to do three true loops, and then you cannot shuttle loop again. Otherwise, you know, you're going for the infinite and it's banned. But he uses the wing flap because Meta Knight has a hitbox when he jumps his wings. Oh, damn. Uh, Zet took the first game. Bam. They were going at it and while I was trying to explain Meta Knight stuff. Uh, so Zet takes the first game. Um, sorry about that, guys. That I wasn't... But yeah, so what he does is he like he he'll hit you with the wing hitbox to try to keep you in the corner, and he'll hit you with the wing hitbox. He'll try to hit you in the corner, and then he's allowed to do three more shuttle loops because the the first loop ended. So yeah, um, uh, just a little intro explaining the infinite. But um, while I was explaining that, uh, Koge got blown up a bunch and lost the first game. So I'm gonna try to commentate more about the match because honestly, I uh I wasn't <laughs> I was so in the zone trying to explain the infinite that I forgot how to um. Forgot to mention the, uh, talk about what was going on. But yeah, it looked like some dash tags looked like they didn't trade, but most of them looked like they did trade with the bombs. So I'm not sure the specific, like, if you have to, like, hit it with the tip of your sword so you don't blow up, or you have to hit it as certain. Or maybe, I honestly, I honestly don't know. But yeah, so, some of them blew up on them, some of them didn't. So we got at least two more games. Colgate's sticking with, uh,. Sticking with Meta Knight. All right, he's gonna warm up his fingers to the infinite. 
See, that is an infinite, technically, but obviously that's that'd be really bad for the game if that was legal, so that's why it's limited. Alright, he's got, got a sword beam. Alright, so for the... Oh, shoot. Oh, he, he got this. He, he's going in. He's actually just going in. Oh, he's doing that. Oh, that, that... Oh, my God. Colgate, huge damage. So he jabbed him, but it didn't... Bl it blew up, but it didn't blow up on him. Alright, so... What he Meta Knight did to start off the game is... You saw his sword glows. Yeah, that he gets his sword beam, and that's a projectile. It's transcendent, so it can go through everything. It doesn't take too long to charge up, but you can't really do it when your opponent's right in your face. But bomb is bomb camping, so he's going to get some time to do it. And yeah, so that's really good. It The sword beam goes either when you use um, your jab or your uh, neutral air. So he can pretty much out air to air like any character in the game. And it's transcendent, so like it eats Gooey's lasers, which are transcendent. And right now, he's been using a lot of Condor Dive in this matchup. He's trading a little bit. Yeah, see, you don't want to do charge it in the range where you can get hit. So he got hit for charging. But he's he's still got a lead if he gets like one more hit. If he gets oh, all right now if he gets one more hit, he'll be able to win. I uh, it okay cool. Condor Dive is that n nice. So Condor Dive seems to be good in this matchup, and I've been playing Meta Knight, and I realized there are certain matchups where Dash Attack is better, you know, just when Meta thrusts forward, or when he Condor Dives, when he dives diagonally forward. And Condor Dive, you know, it's a diagonal angle, it's pretty good. It uh, has Shockwave hitboxes too, to each side, so it's pretty hard to punish as well. I need to update the scoreboard. So we got a 1-1 one -one set right now. But Condor Dive is actually pretty interesting because it has, um, you can input something before you land. So if you Condor Dive and you don't like the situation, you can jump away and you might not. And like I said, it's hard to punish because there are two shock, there, there, there's a shock wave projectile hitboxes that come when you land. Or if you already have a sword beam, what you can do is you can, uh, you can Condor Dive and then put out a neutral air last second and you'll get the sword beam. And that can hit your opponent. And because you're already so low to the ground, you might even be able to combo that into um, into a dash attack. And if the dash attack obviously can combo into the shuttle loops, into the corner. So uh, there's a lot of things you can do off of a uh, Condor Dive. If you hit it, or it's not a true combo, but like it puts them in the air and puts them in not a good position. Or just, you know, the pressure that you're right in their face. Because, you know, Meta already has some of the best pressure in the game. Yeah, because as you saw at the beginning of those games, he got like a million... Yeah, he's working on his jab cancels, and his yeah his jabs are so, oh don't don't glide into him. Midnight's glide hitbox by the way it's it's a lingering hitbox, like it lingers like a multi hit. So um, when he, oh nice power shield. All right, so I think Colgate as the game is going on he's figuring out ways how he wants to hit bomb without getting hit himself. Counter that was probably a misinput. Probably, he might have, like, meant to shuttle loop, but he, like, touched the ground. Because the shuttle loop's input is down, up. Down, up, B. So he might have just landed when he didn't expect to. Either that or he meant, but he was already in the air. Unless he was, like, playing, like, a perfect lift. Oh. He, he was too close. Oh, he, that was just a miss input. The first dash attack, he was he was too far away to cancel it. And the second one, he, he uh, I think he just got stuck in his, mu stuck in muscle memory, stuck in bad muscle memory a little bit. Yeah. So meta is... Raw, just rapid jab, that's 38 damage. That's 38 damage raw. It's really good. And Gooey's is like 34. Yeah, Gooey's is 34. So that is even more than that. Uh, questionable down air landing on... Um, he, oh, if he got if he got that, he, he would have won. Oh, uh, he's yeah, he won anyway. Yeah, it's hard to, like, analyze exactly what's going on, I guess. Because even though it, it, it's not really campy, bomb you can't camp versus Meta Knight, or it's very hard to. Like the only way you're able to camp versus Meta Knight is if the Meta Knight is camping himself. Because if Meta Knight goes in, no character can really like slow him down enough. So the only reason Meta Knight really camps is like if he's scared of like one hit making like a huge difference. So, so that's like not even the other character. Can I mean, they, they can camp, but Meta Knight can break through it is what I'm saying. So, for example, I'll play Campy versus Wrestler because I don't want to get hit once. I'm pretty... 
like, um, Verse Ninja, uh, I need to work on my approaching, but I'm pretty campy in it right now, because I don't really know the spacing and how I can, like, poke at, you know, Ninja without taking a risk for Cherry Blossom. You never want to get Cherry Blossomed. <laughs> that is just something you do not want to happen. Because Cherry Blossom's, like, and it can even combo into, like, the, uh, like, the, the shock and other stuff. It's like, dude, when you get Cherry Blossomed once, like, it's so demoralizing. It is such a demoralizing. And it does like 33 damage or something. It does a crap ton. Oh yeah, so another thing I should note is that Meta Knight's um, dash attack, it doesn't really... Tr you need to like be like kind of close to the wall for it to like true combo into anything. Oh, they didn't even crouch. They're supposed to... Whatever. Alright, um... Yeah, because otherwise it just pushes you too far out to really combo, so you kind of need to hit with the inner hit. And that's obviously really good against the wall, because then they have nowhere to go. Oh, that, okay, so he's trading. Oh, that was good, good bomb placements. So right now, I think uh, Zet doesn't want to jump. Because when he gets jump, Because when he jumps, he can... Um, yeah, he, when, when, when Zet jumps... He can, you know, get stuff at, like, certain, like... I think Meta Knight's neutral air might be safe, actually. He can get stuff in certain ways if he jumps and he doesn't have a bomb. So right now, he's staying under the platform, which makes it hard for him to get Shuttle Loop, hard for him to get Condor Dog. Not impossible, but hard. Harder. And Meta Knight's having a ground-to-ground -ground him right now, and that's and that's pretty tricky. See, he went for the Condor Dive, but he's still tra it's still a trade. See, Dash Attack, I think, is not good good and neutral in this matchup. We might be going to Game 5. Oh, Oh, oh no, it wasn't close enough. Trade. All right, we're on last game, game five. This is like round one match. They have Colgate, somebody who's probably going to be uh, power ranked coming up on the season. Because he started off the season like kind of shaky, getting a lot of ninth places. But once he got like his first like seventh place or something like that, he started getting like top eight more often. Like I said, he got a croc win. He's got a Ninja 11 win. He he almost beat me. He uh he got a 5-1. Like he 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 was up like 4-1 and I was like last hit and then I barely won. And then I won like four in a row. And like he yeah, apparently I didn't see the set. I don't think it was streamed, but apparently he was up 2-0 versus P47, the best player right now. He was up 2-0 in a best of, in a first of 3. He was up 2-0 and he was like one hit away from winning and then he lost that one as well. So Colgate, like, he, he had some shaky starts. I, I did too. I got 13th my first tournament. He had some shaky starts, but he's, like, become, like, one of the more solid players now. And, like I said, Hero King Z, he's the demo god. <laughs> this man literally plays on demo. You have, like, five characters. But, uh, Zet, he got his bomb. He got the character he wanted anyway. So he doesn't even need to spend money on this game. <laughs> Let's see, he hit with that Condor Dive, didn't trade. Because if you can hit, yeah, if you can hit the back of Kirby or, like, hit the top of his head, I think, there, yeah, there's certain, if you hit him and don't hit the bomb, you're good. A few trades, but that's, a, so once again, another Condor Dive that didn't trade. Oh, he, nice jab. Can, Kobe can trade a little bit. Okay, now he can trade a lot, actually. But when it was, he, he can't take raw bomb hits, obviously. Cause that's bad, but... Trading right now when you have like double attack. Uh oh. Alright, oh, he is he gonna cancel that into a, you can cancel the rapid jab into shuttle loot, but it's diable. But if it's against the wall, like super against the wall, you have like nowhere to di. Alright, so he really just needs like one more uh, dash attack confirmed to shuttle loop or just a raw rapid jab, and then he wins. See, these matches are I feel like they, a lot of times people don't realize when they're like threatened, and which is why like there was like a lot of like pressing forward, and then it's like oh it's too uh oh the game. Colgate takes it. Close set. I think with a little more slowing down, I think either of them could have taken that. Yeah, so this is a matchup where Condor Dive is very valuable. Just unplug my Ethernet for a second. That's what you gotta do, because you cannot... Actually, I could. I was hosting. I could. I could have just left normally. I, I, I'm dumb. But normally, all right. I got tagged. Do we have another set coming up. Oh, whack, whack commentator. 
Up. Uh, I don't know how to. Sh Alright, so we're going to try to find another set. Ooh, Colgate Meowmix coming up. Probably not streaming the same players like twice in a row, so... I'll be right back. I'm going to take a piss and see who they want next. Piss, washing my hands, let's see if check out what's going on on the Zyvon stream, I guess. Uh, got an ad, fuck that ad. Fucking state farm most of them. Oh, Kyo Chan and Pizza Time on stream. Oh snap. Pizza Time's up 1 0, but he's uh He's losing on alright, Beetle versus um Sword. It's really close. It's the last hit right now. Pete gets it. <gasps> okay, it's one one, damn. Alright, you know what? Well, let, let's see if I can get my uh, screen record up. New scene. Alright, alright. Guys, test. What the fuck? Test. Test. Alright, what the... Test. Alright, cool. Display capture. Oh shit, guys! Croc, Croc uh, he lost um his round one to a uh, wink, wink to blink, uh, bandana D main, I believe. Uh, so that's a huge upset. Um, bandana D versus. Wait, what the? F all right, so Keo is apparently going random. He got a he got sword off random, which is how he um would. So he took a game off pizza time with random. What am I? Watching? All right, he he's not gonna. There's no way. All right, so now he's just gonna go. You know. All right, so let's see what's going on right now. Oh shit, stream froze. All right, we got some jet. All right, uh, he that was preemptive. He thought he was gonna hit the. The staff jab, which is why he preemptively did the down up B. A nice counter. He's gonna get a oh, okay, questionable. He finished the whole thing. I don't know why. Maybe he just autopiloted, or maybe he just wasn't giving Pizza time to respect. And right now he's getting oh, dude, <laughs> Pizza just locked up. He's so gangster, dude. Pizza time reads, dude. That's gonna be game, probably. Oh, I thought he was gonna come with that in some more. GG's. All right, Pizza. So Pizza time. Pizza time up. See if they want me to stream anything. Alright. I haven't got a I haven't I haven't got a response back. I haven't got a response back yet. So we're just we're just chilling right now. 
That's hilarious. He literally beat, like, the best or second best player in this tournament, in my opinion, the best player in this tournament, a game with a random. That's hilarious. The sword, sword Beetle seems hard, because, like, Dash Tax should actually outground to ground everything Beetle can try. <laughs> and then you have Sword Beam, too, so you got a decent air move if you need to, like, jump out of the way and, like, regain. Yeah. Wait, he got Sword again off random? Oh, he's gonna take the game again with Sword? I only saw the ending last time, so I don't really know how it went. Alright, he's taking forever to kill him. Alright, he's dead. Alright, crouching, crouching. Oh, he, he, uh, Sword started up his dash attack, but he's like a little too slow. But yeah, Sword dash attack will eat everything Beetle can do. I know this because, you know, Meta Knight does it, but better. Um, but yeah, so yeah, see that, that'll eat, ev that'll eat everything, but you, the thing is, is like, you don't really combo off that move unless you get the inner hit. And like, whereas Meta Knight can, can shuttle loop at any time, get some shuttle loop pressure. If you just like, kind of get that, like this, the far away hit, you're just not getting anything. Oh, he's going in though. Oh, he's going in. Oh, that was questionable. He did that from full stage away. Oh, I, 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 is he dead? He's probably dead now. Oh, no. See, so, yeah, it's hard to swing in ways. Oh, that's still game. But, yeah, see, it's it's hard for Beetle to swing in ways that don't um interact with the sword. But Pizza Time's going to take that 3-0. It was close. See, he, like, Pizza, like, made some calls that didn't get him hit. But a lot of the ways, he just had to be in, like, the line of fire, basically, to get hit. But, yeah, that was interesting. He won a game with sword, and then he had a last hit game with sword. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ask in honestly I'm just gonna ask in the general chat. Who wants to be on I'm just gonna ask in the general chat. I asked the WAP. But uh I'm just gonna wait. Oh, Xander, Xander is like, what, what's going on? Oh, apparently uh, Croc lost a uh, wrestler bandana. Croc gets annoyed by rapid jab characters. Like, even though he got better versus Gooey, he hated Gooey. He hated Gooey for a long time, and then he also hates, um... Yeah, he hated Gooey for a long time. He doesn't like Meta Knight's rapid jab, and then... Of the streamers, but I I need a uh, Matt. Who in winners wants to be on stream? Uh, Doug Sauce and Pizza Time. Yeah. I'm going to host, so I'm going to have Doug Sauce versus Pizza Time on stream. I'm a... Uh... So this is going to be a winner's quarters match, I believe. Oh, oh, they did join. Okay, sick. I'm going to update the scoreboard as soon as I... Oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to... There we go. Alright, we got artist. Yeah. Uh... 
Doug sauce. Alright, artist versus beetle. What stage are they gonna go to? Got Doug sauce versus pizza time. I believe this is winner's quarters. I could be wrong. I'm gonna look at the bracket. Yeah, it is winner's quarters. It is winner's quarters. Cool, cool. Just waiting for them to do their strikes and whatnot. So uh, this matchup, um, I I think like even though um artist has like really good like ground disjoints, you know dash attack. Oh, we're going to ride da dash attack, uh, jab, even the paintings. I feel like the jab frame it is like too slow. So like once Beetle gets in, Beetle gets in, and I'm not sure if um. Artist has any like real safe ways to like pressure? Like if Beetle does want to stand it in place and shield a lot, it might be a bit tricky. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. I have a little trouble picturing the neutral in my head. I don't know it like that. So Doug Sauce, um, considered the best artist in Maine right now, him or Grief Boss, but uh, Grief, Grief Boss doesn't really enter the European tournaments that often. I think he got fifth or fourth the one time he did. So he did good, but Doug, and there are a lot of like. Top players, myself, uh, P47, etc., who do counterpick with artists. But he's like the best like North American artist in Maine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it, it just in my head, it, it it seems hard for uh like Beetle doesn't really have those like diagonal angle. Well, I mean, when you go upwards with the command guard, you have the diagonal. But you don't overall have the diagonal. Oh, jumping out of that is really bad because you're in the air. You can't air dodge once you're in the air, once you're fat in the air puff. So that's pretty. Ugh. But yeah, it's, it seems like Beetle doesn't really have the best ways to like pressure uh, pressure artists without getting in the line of fire for like because you get outgrounded, grounded, but you don't really have like ways where you can like oh i want to be de you're dead yeah uh you don't really have ways you want to be diagonal about it for example like um what can jump over you and hit you with the diagonal hitbox uh gooey has his diagonal lasers so beetle doesn't really have i mean artist doesn't really have that actually neither of them have that versus each other to be honest So it's like, Beetle feels like he sucks until he hits you. That's the thing. Then when he hits you, it's like, oh god. Yeah, so Pete's up 1-0 right now. He likes Beetle a lot. I don't even think Beetle is his best character. But, like, I feel like Beetle is probably his, like, third best character. His, um... His ninja, his ninja being his best, than his archer. Well, his archer and beetle might be like tied, but they're better at different matchups. But it just like he likes using beetle whenever he can. Like if he thinks a matchup is viable with beetle, he'll go beetle. He, he just really likes beetle and tries to find like as many like excuses to. Similar with me and whip actually. Like I like using whip a lot, and I'm gonna be using whip a lot more next season. But I do think whip versus Magalore is like that's like whip's one unviable matchup. Let's see right now, yeah. Doug's been getting some... Oh, wow, he comboed that throw. It's, yeah, I, jumping out of disadvantage isn't really good versus Beetle. Because that that up B goes faster than your uh, your multi-jumps. Your multi-jumps are pretty slow. So you have to air dodge, but you have to like time an air dodge. Uh, fastballs at disadvantage, I think, are something that like aren't really thought about like that at this point in time. But uh, you can fast... Dude, fastballs are fast in this game. Oh, that was sick. He dash attacked and then he jumped. Yeah, so jump out of disadvantage isn't good versus Artist either. Because Artist can catch you either with another dash attack or, like you saw, a uh, jump jab. So we got a 1 1 set right now. I think the best thing to do, like, if you get hit by Artist, is try to DI, like, away or down, or, like, down away and, like, try to shield. You don't want to be in the corner, though, so it depends on, like, how much space you have left. Like, if you have, like, corner space left and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's like, 
So jumping out of disadvantage is bad for either character in this match. So that's really interesting to think about. So when they get hit once, it really matters a lot. Sorry if I'm uh, my commentary isn't the most insightful. I'm more so commentating about like overall matchup stuff there than interactions, just because I'm a little sleepy right now. I literally, I literally just woke up and I was like, oh, and they're like, oh, Theo's laptop isn't really working. And they're like, all right, we got, you. we need you to stream. I was like, okay. And the reason I don't have a co-commentator is just because um, my laptop has a lot of blue screen issues and stuff like that. So I really don't want to risk... Um, I forgot to press, press start recording on this set. Yeah, so they're, they're not going to go on YouTube or I got a... Or I got to stream uh, or got to re-record them later. Actually, no, since it's my channel, I should just, they should, Twitch should just let me export the VOD. I'll probably do that. Alright, so, right there, I already don't like that opening from, uh, unless, unless Pizza Time, unless Pizza Time thought that Doug was going to dash to the center, like, immediately, right away, there was no reason for him to put out, um, his dash attack in a range that he, that was not going to hit Doug, and obviously Doug put out the paint, so he wasn't in that line of fire, so, okay, Big Kirby came in a little clutch, he could have taken a lot of damage, he's still taking a lot of damage. One thing to note about uh, Beetle, I I did not realize this until like playing uh, Pizza Time in a bunch of friendlies, and I can't believe I didn't notice it sooner. But when um, Beetle uh, he hits you with the command, the command throw. Oh wow! That, oh, that was yo, yo! That was sick. Oh my god! Doug deserves to win. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, dog! Dog! That throw into the bandana D painting led to death. At first, I, I was like, alright, that's just a cool. I was like, that's just a cool starter. That was just a cool starter at first. Throw into the bandana D. And then he killed off of it. Yo! Oh my god. Yo, that was. That was, uh, sick. I was like, cute starter, and then he killed off, and then... <laughs> Yo, if he's PR, that's going in. And Doug's P if we're doing top 15, he's gonna be on PR. If we're doing top 15, he's gonna be on PR. I don't know if we're doing top 10 or top 15. If we're doing top 10, I mean, if we're doing top 15, he's gonna be on it. Alright, he's going Ninja, like, everybody will tell you Ninja is his best character. He's like, alright. But like I said, he likes to find excuses to go Beetle. But that doesn't mean this is a guaranteed win. Alright, so he, Doug would just, you know, the thing about Pizza is he hits you once and it is like a million damage. So it takes you a while to realize, like, what's going on. Like, it, it's really hard to, like, reassess neutral, reassess, like, what your uh, buttons and disadvantage are bad or not bad. Just because, like, it's so, like, he's so, yeah, look how fast that was. Look how fast that was. Like, damn. And it's so hard to, like, just... So if you don't already kind of, like, have... If you haven't played the matchup a lot and you're not able to, like, picture it in your head or have a decent understanding of it to know what you're doing wrong, like, ahead of time, it's really hard to figure out in the moment what you're going to do versus Pizza's Ninja. Like, you kind of either have a game plan or you don't. So, yeah. Doug is taking... At least he has a little bit of time to think about his counter pick, a little bit of time to reassess the situation. Um, yeah, it's like pure. Yeah, he has like yeah. That's what Bull was saying that he's got pure aggression and tons of damage. So, like I said, jumping out of disadvantage, it's bad for some um, his beetle, and it's also not the best for uh, Doug's going wrestler. Uh, this is a bit of a coin flip. He has, but uh, I mean. Wrestler is, like, the best character in the game on Springy. And Doug, yeah, he does have a wrestler, so we'll see what... If he gets first hit, like, I think first hit matters a lot. I think first hit, like, whoever gets it is gonna, like, matter a lot. But wrestler first hit's gonna matter even more, because wrestler is fucked on the stage. <laughs> and I just say... So, wrestler command grabs are just like, oh, we'll put you back on the platform, and then I'll get to extend it however I want again. Oh, he got first grab. All right, this could determine the set. Oh no, he 
He didn't he didn't land on the platform after he got there. All right, so he's in the corner. He wants to get out of there. I think he's got a shield a lot. Doug sauce it. Oh! I think Croc is actually 1-1 in sets of pizza time as well. Dude, he's actually just grabbed. He's getting in his... But all right, we'll see how much he gets off this. See? He got Cherry Blossom to... Cherry Blossom to Air Puff, and I don't think he got the shock. Oh, the slide kicked off the shuriken. It's really close. Ooh, see, if you get... You do not want to get Cherry Blossomed at all. The IOA, that's good. Ooh. I, he's just doing raw damage. He's not like... He could... That's game. So Pete's time takes it 3-2. Um, I feel like it was definitely doable for um, Doug if he... Uh, I feel like it was doable for Doug if he comboed off his throws, but he got like no, he just got raw grabs and he got like, there was a section of time where he got like three raw grabs in a row, but he didn't kill, he, he didn't like combo off any of them. And while raw, wrestlers raw damage is good, so, so is ninjas. Like you actually need a combo if you want to like expect your neutral wins to outweigh his neutral wins. Well, he didn't, he didn't bring the wrestler to springy because, you know, um, Doug was up in game, so wrestler wrestler is the one who went to spring here. All right, let's see if I can get another set. Uh, who's left on? I don't know who has or hasn't played. Oh, Miamix beat Colgate. I don't know if that was streamed or not, but Miamix is getting back in his groove. He was. All right. Uh, let's see. Right. Any sets in winners? that I can stream that haven't started yet. So I'm just asking if I got a set that we can start. Feel like, Yeah, so I feel like that was winnable for Doug. And even though he lost a set, he got a cool clip. So um, if he makes a PR, he's got, he's got his clip ready to go. <laughs> he's got his clip ready to go. <laughs> Oh, Pizza Time versus Meow Mix is going to be winner of semis. That, that's going to be good because they only played once in Meow Mix 1. It was like game 9, last hit. But uh, Pizza Time's gotten a lot better since then, and Meow Mix has like, been missing in action. So I would definitely say the, um, the odds are definitely favoring Pizza Time this time. But we'll see. So it looks like I don't have a match right now, so we're just going to peek the Zyvon stream. Not much else I can do. Uh, floating. Oh, I got an ad. Fuck that. <laughs> to my stream, I'm going to cuss. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I just realized. I'm just looking at this bracket. I'm a little scared. What if Croc goes O2? He, what if Croc goes O2? Because he, so he lost his round one to Blink, and then he did lose to Xander T at Frame Perfect. Apparently, they were like really laggy wrestler dittos, and I don't think Xander's got a router yet. So there's a chance. There's a chance the first scene might go O2. I don't see Croc losing that twice, but he doesn't like it. All right. All right. So we're gonna. So the ad's over, so I can actually uh, peep the stream. Uh, hold on. Who, who won? Was that a fighter? Oh, yeah, that's a fighter. All right, so, no, so Bim just won the set. All right, so, never mind, never mind. We we caught literally, uh, why'd I press that? I don't know. Oh, yeah, sick. Yeah, bull clipped it. Nice. Just gonna message that to myself on Twitter or something so I don't lose that. Uh... Twitter's not loading right now for some reason. I'll just... Can you message yourself? I don't... On Discord? I don't think you can. I don't know where to put it. You know what? You know what I'll do? I'll put... Oh, rip... Rip... Then for the overlay. Wait. Did I not... 
Oh no, he's stuck in the other chat. Okay. Wait, hold on. You know what I'll do? I'll just I'll I'll put this in the uh in the clip channel where they're looking for I don't know where to put I'll put this in the clip channel, whatever. Wait, so is Bim in semis then? Yeah, he is. Alright, that's weird. Alright, we got two fighters in semis. That's interesting. Alright, I might... Sh you know what? Hold on. Is there anything in Losers that I can stream? Because Ivan's going to stream her set first, Theo. And that's the last winner set, so winner semis. Any sets in Losers that haven't started that I can stream... The, yeah, because Saivon, you know, she's streaming her set, so and that's the last winner's set. I'll show you guys the bracket, I guess. This is the this is the bracket. It's Theo versus Saivon. Uh, so that's the last winner set. So I'm going to see if anybody... <laughs> he was saying, look at people's match history. I don't... To see what character they hate the most. I actually don't hate any individual character. I only hate, hate certain dual main combos. Certain dual main combos make it to like, oh, I don't know who to go game one. But I feel like I have a good character spread. I can... Bomb was never hype. I don't know. Bomb is lame. Bomb's been lame since day one, dude. <laughs> People are just hyped because we have a demo player doing good with Bomb, but I never thought Bomb was hype. Dude. If, yeah, if he didn't have that demo thing going for him, oh my god, it's a demo player doing good. Nobody would even think Zet's hype. Zet has the thing going for him that he's a demo player and he gets the hype because of that. Bomb is not hype. It's like one move. It's not actually one move, but it looks and feels like one move. It's kind of similar to all of our in Smash, actually. Except, there aren't even Pikmin colors. Alright, so the, the Zyvon stream is still uh, setting things up, I guess. Um... I'm probably just gonna rewatch. I'm probably just gonna honestly just, yeah. I'm probably just gonna watch uh, the Zyvon set to be honest. Zyvon Theo. All right. So for those of you who don't know, Te Teos Mio or Theos Mio or Theo, whatever you want to call him. That overlay is giant. I think I made mine smaller. Yeah, I did. Um, he was a wrestler at the beginning of the game. He like when this game first came out, he was doing like first tens versus everybody. Like he grinded this game harder than anyone when the game first came out. And he was, like, in contention for, like, being the best at a point in time. But then cause he got thir he got third twice in a row, which, you know, isn't bad. And then he got ninth. And then he got ninth again at Frame Perfect. And then so he's entered four tournaments. And then he hasn't entered anything since Frame Perfect. So uh, he's trying to make a little bit of a comeback, I guess. And he was, like, pretty – I don't, I don't want to, like, expose people to, like, emotional side. But he, he, he like, he wasn't, he wasn't enjoying practicing, so he, like, stopped for a bit. And I didn't think he was going to come back. I thought he was honestly just going to be a streamer, just a commentator or whatever. But he's back. And I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to see him back. And we're going to see how he does. Zyvon been doing really well versus, versus wrestlers lately. Beats uh, Croc every time. But, um... Should I full screen this or should I... You know, let's just full screen it, whatever. Uh, oh. Yo, Shady Duck, what are you angry about, man? I just saw Shady Ducks in my chat. He's saying he's angry about something. I don't know what, though. He lose? Oh, he lost to Colgate. Yeah, so. Well, I know why he's mad now. Um. But yeah, so, um. Do I got a match to stream? No, Wap said he'd tag me, so I think I'm good. I'm just gonna restream this, got nothing to do. Um. But yeah, so. God, I can't even talk right now. Can't even talk right now. <laughs> 
But yeah, so Theos Mia, he he was a wrestler GUI. Um, his GUI, like his GUI, like was putting in work in those like first of tens or whatever that he was doing at the beginning of the game. Like he beat me in those. But um, in turning his GUI never really did anything. It was always his wrestler who, that did stuff in turning. But um, yeah, he's like, I think Zyvon said he's the only wrestler that's beaten her. So we'll see if he still got it or if, you know, he's going to lose this because Zyvon's been entering, or entering a crap ton of tournaments and Theo's been missing in action for a bit. But yeah. So we'll see what happens, you know. Game one, bomb rep. I think Zyvon, I think she said she thinks it's even. Just uh, Croc has no idea what to do in it or something like that. So we'll see. Um, they're opening up. Zyvon's getting her neutral up. Um, starts off with the bomb on the side, so Theo has to jump to approach her. And Theo doesn't exactly know what he, he... Yeah, he's not... It's good he's not, like, running... Like, Croc would already have been, like, below 200 health by now. Because, cause like, Croc is a... Croc's what I call a hold forward player, which isn't inherently bad, but you have to be... You have to be know what you're doing, because if you don't know what you're doing... Okay... Found one blind spot, got the lead off that. Did you get a combo off it? Uh, tried. I don't know if that jump was even to uh to hit Zyvon because she was nowhere near him, or if he just wanted to get the top platform. Because if he gets the top platform, then he can land like anywhere he wants. And I think command grabbing at like the up command grab gets up there faster than uh gets up there faster than just jumping up there. Because I don't think a full hop. You got to jump. Yeah, you got to full hop and then hover a bit so just the command grab gets up there faster oh he's using like slide kicks to deactivate the bombs but thing is is like you have like the bounce and lags so even though you bounce off of it you don't really like power shielding is like the best thing you can do versus bombs unless you have like a disjoint that breaks them slide kick unfortunately unless you want to hold set oh he, he he didn't have the best he put out that jab preemptively the second jab because he was trying to cover something inst instead of uh reacting because he definitely could have comboed off that but it's way out of his hand. He's going to need a win neutral a lot in a row or get a big combo if he wants to win this. Oh, the, the slide kick puts him up. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, Zyvon wins the first game. Slide kick puts Theo up on the um, up on the platform, actually. So that might that might actually have some use in neutral, now that I think about it. I didn't know that the slide kick on bomb put you up in neutral. I didn't know that. Okay, do I got a match yet? I don't see I don't see myself tagged in anything. I think we're good. I think we're good. Game two, butter building. Uh yeah, so basically wrestler generally likes to go to one of three stages. Uh butter building, springy hand land, or factory tour. So you can give it two bands, so you usually end up going to like one of the three no matter what. This and springy hand land are good because for wrestler, because the command throw puts wrestler up on the platform so he can extend the combos and then factory tour is just super small so it's really hard to run away from wrestler and his uh command grab like grabs to the ceiling or all like his upwards command grab grabs to the ceiling or almost the ceiling and then yeah it's it's hard to run from him and you get cornered in a lot of ways that you wouldn't on any other stage Right now, uh, Theo, he's having a little trouble breaking through as Ivan's new. Just, wait, was that the... Really? The command grab just bounces on it? I thought he was slide kicking to do that. That's the command... The sidewards command grab bounce? That's a... Com That's really weird to me. Because it's not a hitbox. It's just a throw. So I would imagine it... Okay, that's interesting. Why trades instead of, yeah it, it bounces it doesn't hit him that, yeah but Zyvon knowing this is a one of okay let's see what Theo gets off here but what I was okay he doesn't get anything but what I was saying is since Zyvon knows this is one of uh, wrestlers best stages or in general just a stage that bomb is going to be playing on a lot either due to pre preference as the bomb or preference against the other matchup Zyvon's got a lot of tricks for dropping bombs through the platform, a sliding off, running with bombs. Oh, nice, nice snipe. You generally don't see bomb snipes. You kind of just imagine them as like a mindless throw spam character, which it is at low levels, but there's actually like setups and aims and et cetera, et cetera at, at high levels. I was not expecting that, that snipe from there. Good awareness from Zyvon. And she's one game away from 
Yo, that yo, that is whack. I just realized winner of this plays Bim. So we have Bim or Zyvon guaranteed uh, top three, which is definitely unexpected. All right, Theos Meta Knight. Um, yeah, I think I think Theo said like one of the things he wants to do during the off season because this is the last tournament of the season. I think he said he wants to play uh, Meta Knight, but um. Um, <laughs> Xander T's like talking shit in the chat. Oh my lord, dude. Till you get a router, bro, you cannot talk shit. <laughs> anyway, so I actually commented this match earlier with Zet versus uh, Colgate, and I said this matchup needs to be. Oh, wait, counter, counter might actually be good if you can get close enough, but you have to be close enough to do it. And you kind of like need to either do it on reaction or like if you do it yeah, anyway. Yeah, so, as I was saying, Condor Dive is good in this matchup, but is it how long is it going to take for Theo to realize that he wants a Condor Dive and not Dash Attack? Unless he's, like, point blank, right? If he's point blank, then he can Dash. All right, there we go. We got a Condor Dive, but he's already at 38. I think it... Oh, uh, that's probably set. Damn. 3-0. All right. Uh... Nug sauce. Oh my look, people getting freaking. I get salty too when I lose. Well, I get like sad. I'm good enough where it's like, oh, man, I. Where it's all like, man, I suck. I fucking suck at this game. Like some people are like, man, why have so. It's me just like, damn, I could be the best in the world, but like I barely dropped it. That's what I get sad about. Well, it's Smash, I get, it's Smash, I get fucking emo about this. Um, let's see what we got. So we got our winner semis decided. We got Zyron versus Kirby Bim, and we got Pete Sun versus Meow Mix. That's crazy to think about. So Bim or Zyron, one of the two is guaranteed top three. Zyvon's been putting in work, though. Zyvon has been putting in work. Like, and I, I think, like, she, like she, you know, she streams, like, every week. She streams, like, one or two tourneys a week. She plays every week. So it's like she deserves to, like, you know, do well, in my opinion. Like, she, uh, she's putting in the work. And uh, she usually has to play, like, Justinian or Nuggets, who are, like, I think those are her, like, IRL friends, I think. I think they're all, I think all three of them are, like, from New England. I didn't know Nuggets played Brawl. Someone told me Nuggets played Brawl with them. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I think someone told me, like, because I knew Zyvon, I knew Zyvon and Justinian played Brawl. I knew that, but apparently Nuggets is, like, one of the Brawl players with them, too. I didn't, I didn't know about that. And, you know, like, I'm generally in the know when it comes to Brawl, you know, considering I'm one of the people who still play this in, like, in the ultimate days, I still play Brawl. I'm ranked 14th in Brawl right now, which is actually horseshit. I should be, like, 12th or 11th. Vex went to one tourney and he beat me and he's above me and I went to four tournaments. And like I'm his best win too and I have like fucking wins on I have wins on Pelka and Mike Wright who are both top ten. And so I think that's horseshit that Vex is above me. Siegel shouldn't be above me either. Like he doesn't even have like he doesn't even have a win on me. Like his best win is Zan. Well it's actually T T.O. Joe should have been ranked, but he isn't like his best ranked win is Zan, and I beat Siegel in the head to head. It's like, why the fuck is Siegel above me? <laughs> I went to two tourney, and uh, he, I went to four tourneys. He went to two. Anything I can stream, losers. So yeah, I I should be, I should definitely be above. A... Oh, what's up, Frost? I'm doing all right. I'm chilling. Uh, I don't know if I'm. Do I stream at the? All right. So I might be streaming Theo and Zet. I think I'm streaming Hero and Zet, guys. So Theo has got to play two bombs in a row. That doesn't sound fun.
Mm. All right, yeah. So I'm streaming. Uh, I'm streaming Theo and Zet right now. We've got a match coming up. So my man is got to fight two bombs in a row. Doesn't sound the most fun for wrestler. I'll tell you that. I think this is top eight qualifier still. I think this like loser gets ninth. I think. I think I think that's what's up right now. Uh, yeah, Frost. I'm chilling. We got a uh, just got this match going on right now. So um, yeah, that that matchup does not look fun for wrestler like at all. So Theo might. Theo might lose the two bombs. It's a reasonable possibility. Oh, all right, so Zan so Xander played Croc on the other stream, uh, not stream, but just off stream. Croc won 3-0. I'm glad. I really didn't want him to go 0-2. <laughs> I didn't want him to lose Xander again. Um. Then uh. So we're just waiting for Zet to join. Uh, my viewers are going up. I was having like I was having like one or two viewers the whole stream, and now I have like seven <laughs> people. Uh, they want to see Zet. I, I they want to see Zet. They want to <laughs> see the demo god. All right, here that. Yeah, he's here. He's here. Cool. Like I said, this man plays on demo, right? He, but he only cares about bombs, so he doesn't. Oh, I just picked Kirby. Doesn't matter. So he doesn't need another character. I'm chilling though, man. He was going. I wonder if he is gonna bust out the. I think Gooey's good verse. Apparently, he, apparently he dropped Gooey though. Like, I mean, I don't think Gooey's that fun to be honest, which is why I'm not playing. Like, I'm I'm still using Gooey to like cover certain multi main people that I don't really want to get in counter pick wars with. But overall, overall, I don't really enjoy, like, if I could, if I know who the person plays and I know I can go Meta Knight or I know I can go Whip, I'm going to go Meta Knight or Whip. But I'll use Gooey to, like, cover, like, certain specific matchups that I think Gooey does the best out of those three versus, or just versus multi main people that I don't want to counterpick. But yeah, I think Go if Theo loses game one, he, because he, he's already, he just lost three games in a row versus Bomb. So if he loses four games in a row versus Bomb, he might want to consider Gooey. Just because, like, you can, you can bomb, you can uh, low to the ground laser, and you can do that at a faster rate than bomb gets the bomb, and you make bomb jump. And if you make bomb jump, then you can catch him with a short hop, short hop jab, or just if he runs it through. Oh my god, what is he? What is he doing? What the? What am I watching, dude? I think he was trying to di win. It just didn't work, dude. My man took like a million damage. He took like four up command grabs. Now, that's game. All right, all right. I guess he can go. I guess Zyvon's just really good versus Wrestler. I guess Theo can uh, go Wrestler this set. Dude, he, he like literally just like stood in play. Yeah, that's so I was like, yeah, Bryce just like up command, up command ground. I was like, what is going on, dude? <laughs> I don't even, I couldn't tell if he was trying to jump away. He definitely wasn't trying to air dodge would have come out in time. So I couldn't tell if he was trying to jump away or if he was just pressing nothing. Because the air dodge would have not got hit by that. So I, I really feel like he was just pressing nothing. Or he was like holding away without jumping. And that didn't put him as far as he wanted. That's funny. Like, yeah, certain characters, they, like, in this game, they hit you fast. And unless you kind of ahead of time know what you want your, like, DI to be or your disadvantage. But it's hard to figure it out in the moment before you already take a million damage. It's part of why, like, peak times aggression is so scary. Because unless, like, you watch his videos or you've played him a shit ton... It's like you, it's really hard to process all that that fast and know what you want to do. All right, so game two starting now. Zed's probably going to be using. All right. Ooh, he did an up. He just did a neutral B that he aimed upwards. I want to see more dash attack, dude. Because Wrestler doesn't really have great aerial. For, yeah, more more bomb dash. All right, cool. We'll get a set going. I'll, yeah, I want to see him not really be in the corner. I want to see him be under those platforms for the most part. Because Wrestler gets you in the corner, bro. It's like, you kind of don't look like you got to. An escape button. Alright, oh! Uh, get it. 
that was questionable. He could have gotten there was like a little blind spot that Theo didn't go for, but it ex- it existed. He could have gotten grabbed. See, the under the plat. I think it took him a little time to like reassess the neutral of what he wanted to do, but by the time he reassessed it, he took a crap ton. Of- He's in another string game. So yeah, now Theo's up to oh. Yeah, first wrestler. It's also one of those matchups where it's like. You kind of need to know what you want to do in the neutral, like going into it, because if you, or just play like really, or just like play like really evasive and reactive until you cut, until you figure out what you want to do. But if you get hit once, first wrestler, it's like oh god, and now he just took wrestler to like one of wrestler's like top three stages. Yikes. Why die in guts? Yeah, well, okay. I wasn't sure if it would kill me in guts, because I'm not used to seeing that throw in guts. Okay. Alright, take the center stage. Like, I think Zet can w- If he gets good openings every single time, I think he can win. He needs to get an opening where he does, like, at least 40 to 60. 40 is good. 40 is a good opening, because, like, if you take a... R- okay. This is bad. Alright. 40 is good versus wrestler if you take a raw opening because it means you lose neutral once and you don't lose neutral. But he might combo off of it. So in that case, you want to have like six, 60 before getting hit once. So if you get hit once and get comboed, like you're still like in the in the lead. You just kind of like pace things I picture in my head because I play versus wrestler a lot. I, I mean, I try to picture this in every matchup, but I have it like pretty articulated pretty well. But right now, like, yeah, he took one big string, but overall he's like winning... Yeah, I think Flatzer. Yeah, I think Zet might realize now that Flatzer might be what he wants to do versus a uh, wrestler, or at least Theo. Be- because why did he jump into that? There was like I don't know what the maybe maybe he was just on autopilot. I don't know, but like yeah, he up command grabbed into the bomb, which there was kind of no point to that because Hero King was on the ground, so that wouldn't have accomplished anything. Yeah, he was on the ground, but that... Oh, I don't know. And maybe he just kind of, like... He was reading too... He was he was reading too far ahead of time rather than, like, looking at everything on the screen. So he just jumped into a bomb. And that happens, that happens. I said flats are good, but I, sh- I guess I should have just said destined. Because, like I said, wrestler... It's really hard to create a lot of space versus a wrestler on the stage. But, um... Yeah, but Theo seems pretty good at using like platforms to make his neutral ambiguous. How how do I want to keep him out, right? Because like just roll bomb, just like dash attack bomb is really good on flats because it's like there's kind of like very less amb- ambiguity. There's like less platforms. Theo can't like stand on a can't stand on a platform as much, and like then because it it makes him more reactable basically. He's He's won straight neutral more, but winning straight neutral versus wrestler doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, it's even. Yeah, see, there are like certain blind spots that you can that you see, and you can. Oh, this is looking. All right, trade, trade, trade. If he didn't have that trade, he'd be in a pretty bad spot. Theo uh, Zet, you shouldn't get hit by anything he does. Yeah, you can, you can just react. Kirby's floaty. Air pumping is. Uh, so, unless he's like close to the ground and then he has a destroy, like Whip can hover in your face and then put out a down air, but wrestler just like like that, it's like. Oh, I can just react to anything. You... Oh, if he combos off this, it's gonna be game. Okay, it's close. He needs to win. He needs to get like four more bombs, and he's not gonna get one more bomb. And that's it. Uh, Theo makes it into top eight. Loser side. Uh, Meow Mix versus Pizza. Am I streaming that, or is that gonna be on the Zybon stream? I'm assuming one of us is doing winners, one of us is doing losers. Uh. Do I have a stream set? I assume a mix of me and Zyvon is doing winners top eight and I stream I oh shit. 
Did my laptop freeze? Please tell me we didn't freeze. My laptop might have froze. My Discord froze. Okay, no, I think we're good. Okay. Alright, uh... Croc... At Colgate... So I, I think I'm streaming Croc vs. Zyva. Uh, not, not Croc versus um... Colgate in top 8. Colgate's already in here, alright, cool. This is top 8, by the way. Need to get more text so I can... Uh, this is going to be first of five because it's top eight. So I think there, it's I think the set count right now, at least in recent times, I don't know lifetime, but in recent times I think it's like one one or two one croc because I know that um Colgate won that set where um croc went like half DDD the set. He won, yeah, he won the set where Croc went like half to do this set. And then he still, he, and then he went like 1-1 with the wrestler, I think. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I wanted. I should put top 8. Where can I put this that people will see it? All right, people will see that. All right, cool. So I'm just waiting for Croc to join. While I wait, we're going to take a look at the Zyvon stream. Oh, Zyvon versus Bim's going on. Oh, they haven't started yet. They haven't started yet. Oh, it's in the Meow. Oh, yeah, Meowmix does stream. I forgot about that shit. Forgot about that. Yeah, Meowmix does stream. So, Pete Time versus me Meowmix... Oh yeah, but Meowmix has like a really shitty overlay if I remember correctly. He has like himself like shirtless and all this shit. No, no, he's he's wearing a shirt today, but he doesn't have an, he doesn't have like a scoreboard overlay. I don't think. I don't give a fuck about the Stadia ad. I've been seeing this fucking shit a million times, dude. Oh, Crocs here, cool. Oh, noob stack. That guy. I haven't seen that guy play fighters in a hot minute. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. All right. At least at least Meowmix has his fucking shirt on this time. But uh, <laughs> I uh, have no idea what the set count is, and I don't think I care to be honest. What? Because I got my own set to worry about right now. I'm gonna just. Where are we going? Bubbly. Sick. Alright, so Croc thinks Meta Knight wins this matchup. I mean, Croc thinks Wrestler wins this matchup. I think Meta Knight wins this matchup. And then... And then, uh, Colgate thinks it's even. So we got, like, all three different people here. Who have, like, all different, like, opinions on the matchup. I... I think... Croc generally beats... Croc did beat Gekiatu in that, in that Japanese tournament, who's probably the best Meta Knight right now. He's, like... He mains Meta Knight and Wrestler. Bro, he's charging Swordbeam before you teabag. That's, like, kind of cheating. Whatever. Um, but, yeah, so Meta Knight, like, Swordbeam... Like, Wrestler has no move that can, like, out-move to move Swordbeam. But it takes Meta Knight time to charge up Swordbeam. It definitely takes Meta Knight time to charge up Swordbeam, for sure. Oh, these landing, da landing down are questionable. Very questionable. That's good on greens, because it'll poke their head, but not on this stage. Oh. Oh, he tried... All right, I see what he's doing. Yeah, it's one of the combo mix-ups he like. If he doesn't have a wall, he'll, he'll do the up command grab because he can like chase on the platform. Oh, jab cancels. But um, how much is he gonna get off this? Is he gonna do the wing flap after this? Is the question. Oh, he got it. Oh, in. Oh, okay, that's questionable. Oh, get the. Why did you finish that? Just accept that it didn't work and then get out of the way. No, don't roll out. Don't. Yo, roll it. You just jump. Oh, you're dead. Wow, you got away with that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did he win? No, no, no. He needs one more. Oh, you might have lost. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, get the fuck out of there. What are you doing? Get the fuck out of there. What are you doing? No. no. Just jump, dude. Reset neutral. 
bro, you down aired his shield, you somehow lived, and then, like, I don't even remember what happened after, but you fucking threw. What the fuck? Holy shit. He, like, should have lost, then he had a chance at life, and then he lost. What the fuck? Like, actually, bro, what the fuck? Bro! Alright, so my man is just going balls to the wall. He's, take, he's taking Wrestler to Factory. So, what I was saying is that Meta Knight has, like, the raw moves that just, like, outmove to, like, Neutral Air does, um, Sword Beam does. Dash Attack is weird because Sobat, the Drill Kick, can go, can go over. It can go over, um, Meta Knight's Dash Attack, so it's a little weird. Alright, I, I guess we're letting Croc do it. Croc, Croc kills really fast. I just did. I just wanted to go with whoever was closer to me. But Croc's always good at doing that. All right, let's go. Uh, that's so questionable. Those down air landings are questionable, bro. And, and roll, rolling out of if you're if you're in a scramble situation, you got oh wait, that's bad. If you're in a scramble situation versus wrestler, just jump. Well, I mean, I won't say always just jump, because if, if you're a Kirby, you don't have good airspeed, and you don't have a platform on this day. He's jabbing like a motherfucker. It's working, though. Is he gonna... Oh, he converted from all the way across the stage. He's getting... He, that was a crap ton. But, yeah. If you're in a scramble versus wrestler, don't... Because his sideboard's command grab goes so far, it catches rolls. Like, even if you, like, roll... If you roll away at the same time, it'll it'll get you. So, and then jumping's really good with Meta, because he's got good airspeed, he's got shuttle loop. If you, so if you ever get into scramble, you don't... Oh, that's game if he doesn't drop it. Boom. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, so... Yeah, j j just uh, jump away. And then if you want to keep the pressure up and don't want to, like, raw reset neutral, then you can put out, like, neutral airs and stuff in ways that... You can put out neutral airs and stuff, like, right on his face in ways that are hard for a wrestler to punish if you don't want to just raw reset neutral. But when you get in those, like, I, I hit your shield and I don't want to hit your shield. Don't roll. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, don't, don't roll. Rolling's not good in that situation. So this, even though I think Meta Knight does beat DDD, I think DDD wins on this specific stage because Meta Knight cannot run. And if DDD hits you, want, like, it's hard to camp DDD here as anyone. It's hard to camp DDD here as anyone. And Meta Knight, you know, he, it's harder for him to just jump out of disadvantage and shut a loop out of disadvantage because you can, um, oh, and if you corner loop them and if you end up like with a down air, oh, nice. Uh, DD can like, DD can land out of the corner out of disadvantage with the, with the hammer swing. So you get reversaled a lot of the time. Getting reversaled by DD is, for hitting him is like one of the most tilting things. So you got to figure out how to hit. Oh, nice shut loop, uh. Block grab. I've definitely been wanting to implement that into my play a bit. I've, I've gotten a few of them, but no. How's he going to end it? Nice. He, he's... Oh, my God. Colgate is going... In. He is going ham, bro. Oh, my... God. That's game. That's actually game, dude. Oh, he dropped it. Yo, that would have... If he got that, yo, that would have been the clip. That legit would just been like, all right, this would be like, all right, this is for your PR video. This is for your, your rankings video. I mean, I still, still use it. I don't think he got hit out. Like, even though he dropped it, he, like, still won neutral and got, like, the last hit. So we still use it. Damn. That was, like, half of DDD's health. DDD has, like, more health than anyone else. Like, he'll probably go back to Wrestler because he thinks Wrestler wins the matchup. Yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going? Greens? Okay. Alright, now, if there's a stage for you to down air, Colgate, this is the stage. Poke his head. If there's a stage for you to land with down air, this is actually the stage. Hopefully he's not listening to the stream, because then it counts as coaching. It's not my fault. I'm supposed to commentate on what I know. I never listen to streams when I play, by the way. That's like, uh, Croc will kill me faster. I never listen to streams when I play, dude. For like multiple, one, it's distracting. There's no point, and two, it'll lag the shit out of my internet. 
Well, I won't like it that hard because I'm wired, but. Let's see. Oh, damn. Colgate's doing what I do jab on reaction. <laughs> I do it versus DDD because DDD's. But if you can. If you. If, if Meta Knight can. Um, uh, you never go for jab. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he, he got a he got a conversion from that far away. What the fuck? Is he just dead off? No, no, he's not dead. Dude. Holy crap. Oh. Oh my. All right. I said down there on stage. I meant through the platform. Maybe maybe he just missed because he was like right at the ledge. Oh, he's just... No, no, he got guts. He might live. Oh, jab cancel now. Oh, crap. Bro. <laughs> oh, man. Croc, dude. But yeah, if you can, maybe maybe I play too scared versus wrestler. But I think if you can um, reliably jab on reaction, like anything wrestler does, then uh, Mad Knight like 100, 100, 100 percent wins the matchup. If you can stuff him out and jab on reaction, then it's like, like I said, on reaction, it's like you can't timing mix up you if you know what to, if you know certain if you know certain things you want to react to and you never swing the button until you react. It's like oh, yeah. It's like, <laughs> I do just do everything I want on reaction, and you don't have an answer for it. I haven't, I jab uh, Croc's DDD on reaction. It's easier because DDD's slower, he's bigger, but I didn't. Colgate was get, like, jabbed him on reaction that game. So if that can happen, it's like, damn. Maybe I just play versus wrestler like a little bitch. Because yeah, I'm used to spacing wrestler out, because I used to play it as gooey a ton. And then I don't like it as gooey as much anymore. And then even when I play it as whip, I space them out. But I have like a dis. I mean, Man Knight Sword is obviously destroyed. It's so oh, he he uh, had a little bit of a flub in his muscle memory. You can cancel that like anytime you want. So when you see like a slow cancel up against the wall, you can tell they just messed up. Oh my! He got the flap reset. Jeez, dude. Oh my god, dude! Croc is getting shit on. Oh, what the fuck? What the f All right. Bro. What the fuck? It's hard to assess the neutral because he gets hit once and you don't see new... You, it's, it's hard for me to... Because you he gets hit once and then you don't fucking see neutral for like... Fucking 30 seconds and then you see like one glimpse of it. And then he dies. So it's hard for me to like assess what I think wrestler should do in neutral. Dude. Oh man. Dude, this this looking like some shit. Man, Croc's out of figure. I, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. I, I, I came back from Colgate this exact situation. He was up 4-1. Although he made belt at the time. But I but I did come back versus the Meta Knight. He went Meta Knight game, like game 9, and I still won. So, this is doable. The way Croc's playing, it's not looking like it, though. Like, you know, these jab cancels, though, from Colgate are fucking nasty. All right, he got a sword beam. Oh sh! Oh my! Oh no no! There was there's enough space that it... Croc would have had the di bad for that to work. Oh sh! My man Colgate. I take the BNB damage because I'm okay with 38. I'm okay with 38, but Colgate's more ambitious than I am. Bro, Colgate is actually just jab. I think I just. I think that's the answer, dude. I think I literally just fucking... I think I need to not be scared. I think I... I mean... He, okay, that, that was... He could have canceled that into Shuttle Loop. Because he was in the corner, so... If he did cancel that into Shuttle Loop, he would have got the loop in one. S still cool, though. I like... I like use of Mock Tornado. By the way, Mock Tornado is the up spin move. It sounds really weird to call that Mock Tornado, because that is not Mock Tornado in, like, any other game. Bro... You know Croc is damn. That's five one. You know Croc is like over respecting him and a little scared because like normally Cro Croc is an inst 
inherently at heart, Croc is an instant button player. So when he doubts and overthinks things for a little bit, you know, he's like kind of like a little shook. That's five ones. That's it. Gonna see if I got another set. I think we got Theo vs. Anomaletics. Pizza Tom's winners. Looks like Pizza's gonna win this tournament. Damn, Pizza really might go above me on the PR. Cause I, even though I have a shit ton of seconds and I have P47 wins, I've only won one tournament. And Pizza. Pizza's won a. Uh, he won frame perfect, and then if he wins this, he'll have won another tournament that I haven't won. So it's like, I don't, damn, that's crazy. At, uh, Theo at Anomal, let it. I'm going to rehost. Unless they already started. They might have already started off stream. Oh no, Theo's coming. Alright, cool. They didn't start off stream. Alright, cool. Throw into wall. Yeah, so, uh. I've been for Zybot on the other stream. Oh, uh, is that the set? Look here. Wait, what's going on? Oh, Z Zybot 153. Okay. So Zybon in winners finals versus um, I mean, that's actually that's actually really interesting to think about because Zybon could win like dead ass because I know he was so when Peace Time first came back he had to enter the tournament in like two weeks after um Frame Perfect and he went one two he lost to um he lost to Deep Puffs Meta Knight and he lost to Kirby Fan and Kirby Fan is a Parasol name obviously thirteenth is like really like out of the norm for Peace Time and that's not like the the to be expected thing. But just just so you guys know, he did, and generally Zyvon is considered better than Kirby Fan. I'm not saying he is or she is or she isn't. I'm not saying you know. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm not saying Kirby Fan is worse. I'm not saying he is or he isn't. Because I've I've only played Zyvon once, and I have played Kirby Fan three times. But I will say that. Um, an, um, an, hopefully I spelled his name right. I can, hopefully I spelled his name right. But I will say that um, when he did get upset, one of those upsets was Parasol. So that is something to consider. Anomaletics. Anom I spelled it wrong. But Uh, fucking Xander Teeth, Toga P, he's being salty and shedding. He's like, I'll get top eight next time. He's got to get, not get BS before attorney. I think his parents had him do something. Yeah, being a, being a kid when you're trying to do like online tournaments sucks. Last, there, Pizza Time's last tournament, he was um he was in winners finals. He beat me. He was one one. He was one one with uh, P47. And then his parents were like, Oh, you gotta go. And that was it. He'd be cute. He, pro he probably would have beat me. Losers run back. And we don't know if he would have beat uh, P47 or not. It was 1-1. And that is to be continued another day. So Zyvon versus Pizza Time for top three. That's crazy to think about. I mean, I won't say it's crazy, but it's like... Like I said, I, I, would, I wouldn't have expected to see Bim in top three, but I would have... Zyvon is like definitely more in the realm of possibility. But even if Bim had won, like I said, Pizza Time lost to Pizza Time lost to D Puffs Meta Knight, so there's a chance that he might have lost. I think if Colgate makes us, who did Colgate? Oh, he lost to Miamix in winners. That's actually crazy. So think just because um Colgate's like Colgate's been going the fuck in this losers run. He's been going the fuck in, right? And Miamix lost to Bim's Meta Knight last week, so it's actually kind of surprising to think about. Him, Miamix winning the same matchup versus the Meta Knight that I think is better. 
But we'll see. Oh, we, we're actually gonna have the the run back. Not run back, but the Meta Knight Ditto possibly if Bim doesn't go fighter. Got Colgate and Bim next round actually. Where is Anomaly? Oh. Okay, I got a Anomaly doesn't have me. Never played. So I know I've never played Anomaletics before, actually. So he's got to send me that invite. Apparently, he did. Oh, apparently, uh, Colgate might be going. Uh... I don't see fucking. Even have the right fucking FC in my. Yeah, it's like I'm. Yeah, I'm not seeing his friend invite. All right, there we, there we go. All right. All right, the room's back up. Let's see, so um, oh shit, I gotta reverse the names now. Fuck, Anomaletics joined first. Fuck. Oh, I gotta do the handicap shit. Oh, what the fuck? I'm trying to find my text. There we go. Alright. Got the names fixed. Lose top eight. Pretty sure Anomaletics' is only character is bad. I'm, like I said, I've never played him. I just added him just now, so we've never played. Um, but I, I've i been hearing he's a Bell main. I feel like that might be his only character. Could be wrong, could be wrong. What the fuck, really? Is he trolling? I don't think he... Is he trolling? Oh, he's really going. Oh, he's really. Wait, he went very. He went very. Whatever. Can I go back? I can't go back. Well, he went very hard, so I just gotta wait. There's nothing more I can do. <laughs> Literally, if you press... You hear my controller. Hear me mash that shit. You can't go back. Was that a... So I just gotta wait for them to pick the stage. There's, like, nothing I can do. Yeah. Either way, I, I'm pretty sure he went very hard. 
So I'm pretty sure this match just doesn't count. Yeah, see, he went very hard. Like, <laughs> Look at the HP, bro. Don't play this out. I wonder if either of them notice. No, they're playing it like normal. They don't notice. They literally don't notice. If, if, he, win, if he wins, I think it should count. They're actually just playing it out. They don't even notice. That's fuck. He's gonna notice now. He's like no fucking hell. I I'm pretty sure that game doesn't count. <laughs> Did they just not notice? All right, so I'm pretty sure that doesn't count. Um, wait, is this real? Wait, what the fuck? Wait. All right, let me ask him. What the fuck? You intentionally playing on very hard, or was that a misclick? What the fuck? I need to ask him, what the fuck? Are you intentional? Like, legit, I don't know whether to update the scoreboard or not. Like, I don't know if I, ca if I count that game. Alright, so they're legitimately counting that game. What the fuck? What the f- Alright, so he's actually counting that. Like, he, he he's going it just to meme. What the fuck? <gasps> Holy, my man's in top 8. He's like, I'm gonna go very hard. Because it'll be funny if I win anyway. <laughs> uh, teach their own. Teach their own. Alright, what the fuck? <laughs> That's all I can say is like, what the fuck, yo. Alright, you got Meta Knight. Alright, so now that I know that, like, this is actually real. So we just saw this match. Uh, uh, he's going on normal HP now, but, um... Okay, he, he has no idea how to try to loot cancel. Because, like, that down B was probably meant to... And that... Yeah, he doesn't... I, I think he's trying to try to loot cancel, but doesn't know how to. So Meta Knight can definitely win this matchup. We just saw him go... We just saw... Uh, Freaking uh, Colgate go in on Croc, but it looks like Anomalytics has no idea how to play this character. He's just dash attacking, not canceling, no jab, no, no, a lot of things. He got one shuttle loop, and then he cancels it to like out there. He gets a combo off this, he wins or a string. Damn, Nair. I don't know if that's actually Nair. It looks like a that like kick move looks like a Nair. I don't know what it actually is though. I know you just respect that thing when you gotta land. Alright, so now I'm just gonna accept whatever they wanna do, I guess. Cause. Alright, he's actually he's going DDD. Dude, I have no idea what I'm watching, dude. This is so weird. This is like so weird. This is just weird. Oh. And Zyvon ain't streaming Winners Finals yet, which is weird because she got an available stream open. I don't know if I'm streaming anything or not. Or if this is my last stream. Because Meowmix has his own stream. Meowmix has his own stream. I think Colgate and Bim are playing off stream. Unless I'm wrong about that one. No, so they're playing... Colgate and Bim are playing off stream. Um, Zyvon has her own stream, Yamix has her own stream, so this might just be the last of my stream. I don't know, I kind of wanted a more, like, 
not anticlimactic set, but it is what it is. To like end my stream. Yeah, Anam's being funny, but it just like. <laughs> dude, he's so fat, dude. He's got nowhere to go. He's got nowhere to go. Bodied. <laughs> he's, I just like, he's got nowhere to go. I really don't know what else to comment on that. <laughs> Is he gonna go random again or do you, no yeah he can go on random. Okay. He's really just he really does not care. It's kind of weird. It's like, oh, I get this far in the tournament. This is the strat, watch me. That's what he says in chat in all caps. Yeah, so this might be my last set. Bim and Colgate are off stream. Oh shit, right. Meowmix Meowmix it and Zyvon both have their own streams, so I don't really... Oh, I thought I was Anomaletics. That's why I, like, walked forward. I walked in the wrong direction. Oh, what the fuck is that lag, yo? Oh, that shit better not affect the game. Ah, uh, this is, um... This might be one of the better matchups that, uh... This might be one of the better matchups that uh, Anomaletics has gotten, because Kirby, Fi Kirby Fan has beaten Theo. But, uh, yeah, he's got the lead. It, uh, yeah, it's really hard for, um, Rustar has to find, like, specific, well, he was, like, mashing jab and, like, holding. He, he doesn't know what he's doing, it looks like. But this matchup is actually seems hard and neutral. Well, he rolled. Just because, um, you don't, like, Parasol eats out, like, all your, all your moves. Dash attack does, down air does. A down air looks safe on block. I don't know the specifics. I'm not a parasol player. And you're oh, that's really interesting. He went for he went for a gobble rather than a command grab. Command grab would have just rock killed. But he's like, all right, whatever. So yeah, this is uh, if he reverse five O's with random, that'll be uh, that'll be the story to tell, right? That will be the story to tell. All right, so I, Zyvon's hosting, so I think she and. Whoever just gonna. Oh, hammer! Oh, I forgot to press. I I forgot to press something. I don't know. I'm dumb. Where are we going? Where are we going? Greens again. All right. All right, it's up to him. So reverse 5-0 with random. Can he do it? Can he do it? Oh, Whip! Yo, I think Whip wins this match. Yo, Whip, I play this matchup a lot versus Croc. I think Croc will tell you it's even. But I th any, matchup, any matchup that Croc says his characters win or is even, that basically means it's like slightly worse than it actually is. Because, like, Croc is, like, over-optimistic and delusional. Well, that's not how you win in the matchup. But Croc is, like, over-optimistic and de delusional about his character. So if he tells you a matchup is winning, it means it's, like... If he tells you a character wins, it might actually be even. And if he tells you a matchup's even... Wait. Yeah, if he tells you a character wins, that means the matchup's even. If he tells you it's, it's like, slight winning, then the matchup's probably even. Is he about to get... No, he, he did get hit. Let's see if... Oh, oh my god. What if he comes back doing just this? And he just jabs in the corner and Theo doesn't know what to do to get past it. Oh, if he hit with that. Dude, Theo actually doesn't know what to do. It's like, it's kind of like gooey rapid jab. If people don't know what to do, you kind of just hold it. He's doing under the... I don't play like... Is there actually... No, no, you can like get under there, right? Just... No! That was funny. He should have. He should have literally just did it. He should have literally just did it to see if to see if Theo had an answer. Theo like clearly showed that like at least in that moment he did he didn't know he didn't know how to um he didn't know how to get like hit him when he was like rapid jabbing in the corner or rapid jabbing under the platform. 
And, like, if you interact once when you have, like, 12 HP, you're going to die. So you might as well just do it. Hope he runs into it. <laughs> That's, like, your best bet. Obviously, um... There, there are ways around it, obviously. Um, if he's under the platform, then you can overshoot behind him. Like, you jump jump under him, and then, like... That, you won't hit him immediately, because he has time to cancel it. But, like, you at least, like, bait out a button. Or if he's holding the corner, then you kind of just wait for the rapid jab to end. Because you can't... Hold, I think Fighter is the only rapid jab that you can hold forever. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Maybe Beetle? I'm not sure about Beetle. I know I know Rapid Jab I know Vulcan Jab with Fighter you can hold forever. Um I don't know about Beetle, but Gooey's in Gooey's and Whips eventually end. Actually do, I should know oh, I'm actually about to check this because I literally I'm pretty sure Whips ends. I I don't know, I don't I never feel like a Chonin just holding a move forever. We're about to find this out right now. I'm literally about to just mash B. I'm pretty sure that it so there is a blind spot where you can hit him, and if it's telegraphed that you want to hit him in the blind spot, then you at least force. I'm gonna. Yeah, it ends. Yeah. Yeah, it ends. So there's definitely blind spot. <laughs> I I was pretty sure. I was pretty sure. I was like ninety percent sure, but I wanted to check just to be safe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it almost worked. That's kind of funny. Do I got another sh set to stream? Do I? have another set to stream or do meow mix and zyvon got everything now all right Alright, I think Zybon and Meowmix got every everything now, so uh, I think I'm just going to be chilling. I forgot to press record on like all these sets, so I think I'm going to have to uh, do a raw upload from Twitch. I think... All right, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna, so Meowmix and Zyvon, are, they, they said they might need me to stream loser semis, so I'm just gonna watch these for now. I got nothing else. To, oh fuck. Let's figure out what do I want to watch. What do I want to watch right now? Oh, me, Theo versus me. Actually, I'd rather, I think I'd rather watch Winter's Finals. I think. Oh, they are playing on stream. What the fuck? Thought they were gonna play off stream. Man, I did. What the fuck. Oh, so Meow Mix is watching the same shit that I'm watching. Okay. Yeah, because what I thought was gonna, I thought Zyron was gonna stream her winners finals, and then Meow Mix was gonna stream his set versus Theo. Fuck, I don't fucking care. All right, so we got the yeah, like I said, I. I feel like... Oh, shit. So, Bim will just end it with the down air. While, uh... Colgate will, like, try to flap reset the infinites. It's, it's really interesting to see how, uh... It's really interesting to see how, um... Different Meta Knights go about, like, resetting their loops... I don't. I don't like to end it with down air because you put because you put yourself in the corner and there's a chance for uh, characters to like reversal you, like landing with the reversal. Like for example, like especially if you're playing on like factory tour or something. If I if I down air somebody at, in the corner and I end my loop with a down air, and then DD might land on me with his aerial swing and get a crap ton. And I sh you should never be getting hit for hitting your opponent. That's like something that sh Colgate tried to do with jab cancel. He messed up. Is he just gonna take the BMB? Oh <gasps> no, he just won. Nice. It'll do the jab cancels. Um, this is good. This is honestly really good for me to study. This will um, this will teach me what because I play Meta Knight myself. And by the way, by the way, guys, I was saying 
I was saying on Twitter, I, I think that Meta Knight is probably the best now. And motherfuckers weren't believing me. If I'm not playing GUI, imagine if I entered this tournament. There would be three Meta Knights in top eight. Think about that. For, there would be three Meta Knights in top eight if I entered. And no character ever has like three. Some characters have two of them in a top eight. So no character ever has three of them in a top eight. Right? And I might have won the tournament. I'm not going to say I would or wouldn't have. I don't, I don't think my Meta Knight's good enough to win a tournament yet. I think if I wanted to win the tournament, I would probably need to use... I, I, it really, it really depends if somebody beat Pizza Time before he made it to me. <laughs> I, just, I, I would just lose the Pizza Time. I'm keeping it real with you. But yeah, dude, like... There's so many fucking... Me like... Meta Knight is so good, dude. He out ground to ground is pretty much every character. Well, not every, but like almost every character. The characters he doesn't out ground to ground, then he can like still like hit them at a diagonal angle with like Shadow Loop, uh, Con... Condor Dive, uh, you know, Sword Beam is Transcendent. Man, he has a button for every situation, basically. I including get off the situations. If he's in the corner, he can get out of there. Cole, let's see how much Colby's going to get off this. You can try to go for flap reset. He just jump. All right. Ooh. Bim, he dog kicks out of there. He's like, I don't want none of this. These guys scrap. They, they actually just they take they jab someone's shield and like me like i'm never really confident in grab jabbing their shield they'll take the leap of faith and be like all right i'll try to read you oh damn dude colgate yeah like i said i think colgate is i think colgate's a better meta knight although i don't know how much Knight did is really and and brawl they mean a lot because it's the most re, it's the most relevant matchup so if you want to win a fucking brawl tournament you better fucking know the meta knight ditto and hey man that might that might be the case for this game in a month or two who knows I'll be right back. I'm gonna. Oh, Kirby Bim won a game. I didn't even notice. I'm just seeing it now on the scoreboard. Keep in mind, guys, this is this isn't my stream. This is uh Zyvon's stream. Is this Zyvon or me? I'm yeah, it's Zyvon's. All right. I think I missed the first game. I'll be right back. I'm gonna take a piss. All right, I'm back. So what are my thoughts outside of all the technical and jab kit? What are my thoughts on the neutral in this matchup? Well, like I was talking about how Meta Knight's, um, he out ground to grounds every character because his dash attack is so bit. Oh, what the fuck just happened? I actually think, um, my stream is like fucking lagging, dude. What the fuck? Why is it lagging? What the fuck? All right. I, are we good now? Uh oh, what the fuck, yo. Oh no, my disc is at like fucking 2%, so it's not... Is it actually the sh Oh, people in chat were saying it's the stream and not me. Okay, what the fuck. Alright. So I guess I'm just gonna... Dude, I, dude, this is like so fucking hard to watch. But dash tag is like... Kind of you dash attack isn't good from far away in neutral because you can um Meta Knight can uh, counteract it with a sword beam or if you or if he just dash attacks back you kind of like a dash attack trade so you don't really accomplish anything out of it is that gonna kill I can't tell if he's gonna fall out of it or not because it's so fucking laggy <laughs> I can't tell but um they might need me to stream they might need me to stream if they can't fucking fix this fix this stream but um. What I was going to say is that dash tag, so unless you're like close up enough where they don't have like an immediate button and that in your dash tag creates some like some cross up pressure or you are kind of sure you're going to like get it. Shutter loop confirm off the dash tag isn't. So I think Condor dive is pretty good in this matchup. Even counter is good in this match. Like if, if you see they want a dash tag, counter is really good in this match. Because overall you don't want to jump out. You only want to jump on reaction to like certain things. Because it's really ground based, really footsie based. Like, like in Brawl actually. Because in Brawl, it's super tilt-based. I mean, super based around the tilts. Tornado doesn't accomplish much. Uh, shuttle Loop. Like, Grounded Shuttle Loop, it, like, only accomplishes something, like, if you have, like, a... 
if you have a read, like if they tornado into you or if they're off the ledge. I'm talking about the neutral for Brawl. Meta Knight did it, by the way. Or if you need to, like, run up and, like, beat, you know, their butt. Like, if you could tell they're going to, like, what the fuck? I guess she's refreshing the stream. Oh, yeah, she says she's refreshing it. Are we back? So, yeah, so it's actually... You can jump in, like, certain spots, like, in the Meta Knight Ditto and Brawl. Like, if you you can uh, turn it... Like, if you see, like, a certain spot... You can, you can glide in certain... If they do certain so and so, or if you see they're gonna tilt, you can like kind of like tornado to like hit their head like right above their tilt range. So Condor Die can be used like similarly to that, or Shadow Loop can be Shadow Loop's Glide, literally the same thing. Glide is brawl. Uh, it can be used similarly to that. Although Glide is probably even better in neutral in this game because it's not it's not a commitment, you know, because you can just cancel it to whatever, and it can block string into grab. While you know if you really never really want to glide attack, Command Knight Shield and the Ditto. Well, I think the Meta Knight Ditto, like, uh, the options are different, but fundamentally there's a lot of the same ideas that go into um, the Meta Knight Ditto that go into it. I wonder if anybody's talking in my stream, because I'm restreaming this. I haven't had my chat open. Do I got anybody in here? I got three viewers. Oh, it shows me the last update. What, what is going on? It doesn't look laggy right now. The fuck is going on, dude? Just play. All right, let's do it. These guys are going in. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my fucking god, really? You can't be serious. What? Please. Oh, what the fuck is this fucking... Alright, we back? Alright, we're back. Alright. Alright, Bim's going in. Alright, looks like Bim's going to take this game. Why is he countering? Man, that was probably a misinput to shuttle loop. There was no reason. He's like a million feet away from you. There was no way he was going to just hit you from that range off of literally anything. Shuttle loop blocks string grab. I like it. Oh, you did. All right, so 3-2. Bim, bring it back a little bit. While we wait, let's take a look at what's going on on the Meow Mix stream. Let's take a look. Twitch.tv slash Meow Mix TV. He doesn't have a fucking scoreboard is the problem, though. That's the problem with fucking Meow Mix's stream. He doesn't have a scoreboard or shit. He just fucking plays. He doesn't give a fuck. He just fucking plays, dude. Uh, talk about Theo being rusty, so he's probably getting. I think your ISP found out. Oh, oh, that's not a machine. That's good for me. All right. I can't tell the fucking set count. God fucking damn, I fucking hate. It. I hate fucking Meow Mix's stream just because of that fucking. And he has his face, like, no one gives a sh Well, I mean, if you're branding it for yourself and not for the tournament, then it makes sense to, like, get your face out there. I mean, uh, no, that's fine. HBox streams with his face. I don't know. I would, I would at least, like, a scoreboard. I would at least, like, a sc scoreboard. Okay. Oh, these guys are countering next to each other. I don't know. Point blank counter means, like, you have a read of some sort. I feel like they're, like, less committal way. Like, if you think they're going to ground swing, you can, like, Jump above them and dare. Well, I mean, dare is like laggy, but it's not as. Or you can neutral air them. I, I, I don't know. I. Oh my god, what the fuck? I, I feel like if you don't, if you don't want to be the one who swings first, there are still like way better things to do than counter like right in each other's face. Uh, which one is which? All right, that's Colgate messing up. That's like not common. Falls out. So, uh, are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Okay, so three, three. All right, all right. Let's see how this shit's going. One, what's a set count? I have no idea what the set count is right now.
This one is 3-3, though. Colgate was going in, and then uh, Bim won, like, two games in a row. Uh, All right, so let's see. You know, I haven't really been in. All right, so they start off with sword beams. All right, they start off with counter dives. All right, because yeah, because you never want to really dash. Like I said, it doesn't really accomplish anything. So if you just dash tack, dash dash tack out of the corner is okay. Like if you don't if you don't think they're gonna dash tack, like it's then it's okay. But if you think they're gonna dash tack, or if they or if you think they're gonna condor dive in a certain way or sword beam you in a certain way, like it's it's not the worst. But the thing is, like it just it just trades a lot, and you don't really get anything out of the trade. Uh, I won't say you don't get. I mean, you can you can see the button. Uh, I, I guess you got you get long term reads actually. Now that I think about it, because if you both trade, then you can kind of see like what button they're gonna press. Oh shit! You got the flap reset. Oh my god! It, he's actually just dead. He's actually just dead. Bro, he looped him into the corner, dragged him to the center stage, and then dragged him back to the corner. Oh fuck! Colgate's going in, dude. This man is not to be fucked with. I think if he slows it down on the hold forward thing, I think he can beat Miamix in, in the rematch. I don't know, because I just don't feel like... I don't know, I feel like... Well, the thing, he doesn't have good... He, like, uses Shadow Loop when he wants to combo, but he doesn't use it as, like, raw... Like, things you can do with Meta Knight and Neutral is... You can have a Sword Beam, and then you Shadow Loop... You have a low angle, and then Sword Beam, and that'll beat Rapid Jab that... That'll, that'll beat them if they wrap the jab in place. That'll beat them if they... That outranges the, the aerial, like, uh, drop kick. I forgot the name. I think it's called double kick. That outranges that, so... And then I think your dash attack beats just bulk and jab anyway. Like, I, I don't know. But he doesn't really use shuttle loop in neutral like that. See, he just jumped... Well, no, that was Bim. That wasn't Colgate. I don't know. I, I think Meta Knight does fine versus versus Fighter. Because I played, even though like it was close, it's like I bar I was barely doing any damage because I didn't know the fucking corner loops at the time. Could have beat Bim way more solidly if I um if I wasn't I was literally just playing like straight neutral hits and winning. So if Colgate, you know, obviously Meowmix is like better than Bim. Oh, I, I won't say that. I, I I can't say that fucking Bim won last time. It wasn't fighter, but fighter wise, I think Meowmix is better. Oh, that was sick. Oh, read. Oh, that, that's set. Oh, why are you counter? I'm scared. That's game. See, look how much space that covers, by the way. He neared him, hit his head. He hit his head with the with the neutral air, but then sword beam also like went forward. See how much space that covers, dude? Meta Knight's fucking nuts. Glad we got some MK now. Colgate also has the best bandana while the young kids. Yeah. Yeah, Col Colgate's sick, dude. And then I guess we're just... I'll just rewatch the stream of this. Oh, wow, he 5 one them. All right, so that's a, you can tell because the, the, the crown thing in the corners. So I, I'm not going to be streaming that because that'll be... Re I mean, I can... I can rewatch it, but I'm not going to be like needed to stream that shit. Uh, Sandra T. Talk about some stuff. Next FPS could actually be hype because that's less good. Man, motherfucker, you, you think I'm not? You think I've dropped Gooey? Yeah, I, now that I think about it, I sing well. I single hair in the delete carry GUI in the US, even though P47 has a GUI. He uses it just to dit on me. He uses it just to dit on me. <laughs> even then, like I, I beat him in the most recent kiddos. No, no, he also beat he also beat Ninja Eleven with um his GUI once. 
No, but I, I beat him in the gu- GUI Ditto the last time, which is which is glad I can say I at least did that before like I transitioned more so to Meta Knight. So like I held the title like best GUI before I quit him. I, I'm not I'm not dropping GUI, but I'm definitely transitioning to more Meta Knight. I I feel like a GUI, I feel like Meta Knight like does good in almost all the same matchups that GUI does. The only matchup I think GUI is better in, off the top of my head, is like Bell. So I'll keep GUI for certain for like Bell players, and even then I think Whip beats Bell, but I think GUI beats Bell even harder. So I'll keep GUI for like I'll keep GUI for Bell and for certain like co-main players, like for example like versus Ruby. I'll probably just go Gooey because I know I know they don't like Gooey and I know they have a million characters and I don't want to get in that counter pick war, so I'll just go go, go Gooey. All right, so we got the rematch: Meow Mix versus Colgate. All right, let's. See, Meow Mix won in winners, but I don't know how. I didn't. I didn't watch it. I was like streaming my, the sets they wanted me to stream. I'll watch this. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I feel like Midnight's fine in this matchup, dude. It'll be a first of five this time instead of first of three, which it was last time, so we'll see if that makes a difference. So funny looking at me. I'll mix his overlay, dude. He hasn't unlocked sh- Like, he didn't unlock DDD. He didn't finish. He was like, dude, I got my legal stages. I'm never playing one player mode again. And I, I like, I feel a very similar sentiment, although I've realized that this game is so small that, like, when offline returns, I'm probably going to need to use my fucking Switch as a setup, which is literally the only reason I unlocked DDD. Alright. Oh, uh, if that was Mock Tornado, you would have caught him. Uh, questionable finishing. Alright, bro, you need to get a Sword Beam, bro. Holy shit. You can't just... See, you have like... No way to out air to air this fucker unless you have a sword beam. Holy shit, you're just running in, bro. You need a sword beam. Yeah, you you can't you can't that that down air stuff that uh some for some reason uh uh croc was letting you get away with. You're not gonna get away with it. First, right. well, you should have gotten away with it versus croc, but I don't, it looks like Meow Mix is def. Yeah, see, bro, you can't hit a shield like that. Holy crap. All right. Um. So now, now I'm starting to understand why Colgate lost in winners, bro. You you need to use Sword Beam, dude. Sword Beam, a mix of Sword Beam and Shuttle Loop in neutral will let you. It'll let you out move to move him any move, and then once you hit Fighter, once Fighter doesn't have a good like get off me button, so if you hit him even with the Sword Beam, you can combo off that or at least string off that. You know, because landing isn't good. He doesn't have a disjointed get off me button. It's like. Is my commentary even on? Should be. Test? Yeah, it's on. It's on. But yeah, it's like. Don't go, Bell, dude. Just please don't go, Bell. Please just realize what you did wrong with Meta Knight. He, yeah, he, he got he, like he he would try to have a sword beam at all times versus um versus them. And in my opinion, sword beam isn't even as valuable because sword beams sword beam matters a lot for out air to airing. But that's most I'm not gonna say it's useless. It's, if you can get it, you can get it. But you don't want to give up like momentum and stuff and the Meta Knight Ditto and all that. So there are times where we're just getting the sword beam isn't work. Yeah, right, got it. It's Condor. De- now he, he hit him like too high in there. But all right, got the pressure going. Oh sh- Okay, okay. Alright. I legit... Okay, he's gonna get a shit ton of damage off this. Flat preset. Oh, boy. Here we go. Legit, what you should do with... Shadow Loop in neutral is, like, really fucking essential to Meta Knight. And I, you need two, two controllers to do this, but... 
you should lit because tra training literally only lets you go to training mode. But literally, what you should do with Meta Knight, like if you plan on like maining this character, which Colgate does, is you should literally just practice your shuttle loop gliding on every legal stage. See, he's not. See, like he's like his neutral isn't really ambiguous. It's not ambiguous. It's not really like if he hits him, he hits him. But he's not really creating like ambiguous neutral pressure. See, you got jumped out of the. He's not really creating like ambiguous neutral pressure or anything. See, you have to like run and take time to set up condor dive. It's not. Oh, he might win off. No, yeah, looks got out. Oh, uh, yikes. He all right. If he gets all right, if he can get the lock off this, he can win. That's game. Oh, um, yeah, meow makes a. Sh He's <laughs> me. Alex is popping off. Oh shit, dude. If there's a ma if there's a matchup where fucking sword beam is fucking essential and being patient is essential, it's fucking this matchup. Do you fucking run run in versus fuck? This is basically a shoto. Do you run in versus fucking Smash Four Ryu? No, the fuck you don't. You camp that motherfucker. You t take your stray hits and do what you can. See, Koki had a great opening, but he just like ran in and got stuffed out a million times. Oh, boy. He does not have... Home. Oh, you lost. He lost. Uh, more than... I have not seen his Magalore that often. And I played him. The first game, he forgot, like, Gem Apple existed. <laughs> like, I played him in Friendly a little bit. But the first game, he, like, literally just forgot, like, Gem Apple existed. And Meowmix has beaten freaking uh, Ninja 11. I think he beat him twice, actually. I could be wrong on that. But I know he's beaten him at least once. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to Colgate after this term. I'm going to tell him... No, I, I won't even... Should I or should I just demonstrate my next turn? Oh, yeah. You, you can't do... All right, this whole, like... Is he dashed out? He was in the corner. Miyamis was center stage. He dashed. No. This whole, like, idea of, like, playing the game, like, full stage away from someone, that's just got to stop, bro. You got to play... You got to play footsies, dude. Or he got a he thought he got to confirm. I thought that was gonna landing trap him to be honest. So, all right, yeah, he's in the air. Uh oh, uh, he definitely could have strung that into another dash attack. Uh, he has to land. Right, dash attack that dude. What the fuck? All right, what the? F How are you getting hit by these? The first one's okay, whatever. How do you? Get hit by what are you? You're literally just walking into him. See, like, Colgate's, like, picturing what he wants. He kind of knows what he wants to do, like, ahead of time before he gets in the space. And you can't do that versus characters that make you play footsies. You got to get in their space, react, and then kind of just sit. Like, he'll, like, dash attack or he'll, like, teleport dash attack. Like, he's, like, nowhere near Meowmix, but he kind of already is decided on what he wants to do. And you can't really... All right. He's playing... Like, he got in his space a little bit. He tried some pressure. Didn't work out. Um... Uh... I don't know. Like, my honest opinion, I feel like Colgate would have a good chance to, like, literally win the tournament if he made it to pizza time. Is the thing. Because, like I said, pizza time lost to, like, D-Puff at his first tournament. Obviously, pizza time was, like, playing off. But, I don't know. I I think Colgate puts in a lot of lab work. But there's certain, like, key things I don't feel like he does. I... Oh, dude, no. You're just going to get Hadouken. You have no, like, ambiguous way to approach, dude. You're going to get... He's going to Hadouken shield, Hadouken shield. And you have, like, no, like, diagonal way. Maybe on, like, greens, you would be able to, like, jab off the platform, slide jab off. You have, like, no way to be ambiguous, dude. He's just going to Hadouken you, bro. Oh, is that missing? All right, I have no idea what that opening from Meowmix was, but... Oh no! All right, I mean, yeah. See, Meowmix doesn't even need to think about out air to airing this guy. If you see him, if you see uh freaking yeah, if you see him jump, you just shield, you just shield or dash away. Jab dash away is actually probably better. And then oh, what the fuck? I I, I think he just wanted to turn around jab, but the spear throws his dash attack. See like. 
Bandana D is good if he can outground to ground you. But when I play versus um, but he has like no like really diagonal angles. That's why Gooey versus um, Bandana D is really good. At least if you play it on a long stage, Bandana D can corner Gooey on some on some smaller stages. But I just laser, and it's like the first laser doesn't need a hit. I just do it, and it's like there's not much you can. And if you jump, then I laser you when you jump, and it's like he has he can't. He's losing the ground-to-ground -ground game, and then he doesn't really have much to be ambiguous with. Uh, it's actually kind of... Uh, you lose if you get Rising Break, right? If he gets Sleep Kicked Rising Break, he definitely... Actually, that's kind of close. No, you're, 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 that's probably game. You're dead, you get punished? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> Normally, the pushback is fine, but he was in the corner, so you were going to stay close to him. This is a fine matchup for Meta Knight, but Colgate clearly doesn't have a game plan versus Fighter. Let's see what's going on on the Zyvon stream. Oh, Zyvon Pizza Time's 1 1. Oh, shit. Uh, Pizza Time always tries to play Bell when he doesn't need to. Not Bell, Beetle. Ha going to bed if. I want to. Oh yeah, new generation. When the when is that? Good night, Frost. I wonder if I'm allowed to commentate that, or if I just. Guys, guys, if anyone's in my chat, am I? I haven't asked about commentating new generation. Am I allowed to commentate that, or did I have to sign up ahead of time? I'll probably just ask attorney committee to be honest. He's staying bandana D. No, Meow Mix now knows what to do, so you're gonna lose even harder. He knows what to respect. See, you didn't even get a good opening. Look how bad you're. you're Meowmix knows, like, this is Jab the character now, and he knows you don't have diagonal angles you can be ambiguous with. You're going to lose even harder now. See, look how bad this is. No, you're going to get 5 0 No. No. Colgate, no. No. Okay, okay. He made it. Oh, I mean, him getting one jab does not mean he's gonna win. So you just, get, I mean, maybe. No, you you can't trade anymore. If he wins, I'll be very surprised. Colgate. If he wins, I will be very surprised. This game, I mean, he's up. Oh, he might have been able to grab. I don't know what uh, bandana D. Oh, damn, you just got red. Um, but I don't know what like bandana D's like grab in between frame data is. Like, if you jab him in the corner, I feel like he had it. Chance to crab. Dang. Yeah, I know it's tomorrow, but what I'm asking is if I have a chance to commentate or not. But yeah, um, so that sets over. So we're just literally have only one set in the tournament. What the fuck? Why is it black? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Oh, shit, dude, what the fuck? Are we back? I think we're back. Okay, so he went... So off stream, he went ninja, won a game. Okay. Uh, I don't know if... Oh, they are going parasol. Okay. So Zyvon, like... I don't know, I, I feel like she can win. A ninja's really footsies-based. Uh, ninja is not, not ninja... Not Ninja 11. I meant Meow Mix's Ninja's very footsie space, but I feel like Parasol stuffs out. Stuffs out. Um, I feel like Parasol stuffs out Ninja enough. I don't know what outrange is what. Like if you like if Ninja's standing in the corner and they want to um, Cherry Blossom, I don't know what outrange is what between Cherry Blossom and Dash Tech. Looks like uh, Ninja's. I mean not. Zyvon's gonna go to Jam Bastion with Bomb. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I have no clue what this matchup is. I just started watching the set just now. I'll probably end my stream after this set just because since there, since only one set at a time can be played at this point. Oh, what the fuck? We're lagging. Well, since only one set at a time can be played at this point, it means. They will never need me for another stream match, so 
I'm gonna stop the stream after this set, but I'll just watch the set to get my thoughts. All right. Okay, yeah. Um, roll off the platform. A uh, bomb, yeah, bomb. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, looks like bomb actually has some good escape routes. Well, maybe I don't think full hop gets to the top platform, so maybe not. Because it looked like Zyvon would like like to um. Bomb, yeah, dude. Meowmix will just not Meowmix. Pizza will just run in your face, and you have and you need some way to like stop that. That's why my Gooey. That's why I can't beat him with Gooey because Gooey spring data isn't good enough. Gooey does not really have a get off me button. Like jab, like it keeps people out, but it's spring fourteen. So, but once people get in once, it's hard to keep them out. And Pizza Time's really good at getting in on people and then not letting them breathe, which is why I'll probably never go Gooey versus Pizza Time again. A bomb, bomb puts out bombs pretty fast though. Uh, the way the the straight hit attrition is looking, it's looking okay as long as Pizza doesn't get one big combo. All right, Zyvon needs two more bombs, and Pizza if he gets a, if he gets a, oh shit, it froze. Is that gonna? No, it shouldn't kill in guts. But Shurikens though, Shurikens though. Oh shit! Bomb off the platform. Zyvon got. Shuriken didn't kill with one HP. A bomb off the plat, through the bomb, rolled off the platform, hit pizza. Damn though, that was close as shit though, and that's like that's on Zyvon's like best runaway counter pick as well. So you get taken to a smaller stage, that's gonna be rough. What if Zyvon wins this tournament? That'll be, I'll be very happy for her if she wins. To be honest. Oh, you need to sign up if you want a commentary. Uh, probably. I'll probably just watch the stream. Because I was like, holy fuck, in the chat. If, it, if this was first of three, Zyvon won. If this was first of three, Zyvon won. But no, she's got to win two more. I'm going Archer. This is a peep time zoner counter pick. Which I'm very glad, which is also super fucking annoying as Gooey. Like, peep time, like, his ninja's just good enough versus camping. And then if he wants to out camp you, then he'll go Archer. Like, playing this guy with Gooey is, like, actually just fucking not fun. So I think, uh, I was going to say, so yeah, I think I'll probably just go Meta Knight or Whip versus him in future sets. Because the last sets we played, my GUI didn't take games, but my Whip did. So it's like, I know it's doable with Whip, but I'm still undecided on GUI or Whip versus Pete's time. Art, and then, oh shit. Either way, this set's not about me. This is about Zyvon versus um, Pizza Time. Right now, it's pretty even. Um, it's fun. They both want to have the... High this is like fucking Star Wars. This is like actually like fucking Star Wars. It's They want the fucking high ground, dude. Obi-Wan versus fucking Anakin right here. Uh, Pizza Time's even got the high-tech alt on. And why the fuck is this lagging? It's not lagging anymore. Okay. Cool. But yeah, so... But now he... Uh, so I, uh, Pizza Time kind of realized how he wants to cover the high ground, so he's safe on. He, he's like, you know, just putting out a putting out an arrow makes it so it'll blow up the bomb before it gets it. So Zyvon will need like specific diagonal angles if she wants to win this. It looks like that'll be the way she needs specific diagonal angles. It looks like um, it doesn't look like she's figured them out yet. But to be honest, she has counter pick advantage. So if she feels that Parasol can just rush uh, fucking Archer the fuck down, because this is definitely a Pizza Time's, like, count anti-zone character. It's like, you zone me, I'll zone you even harder. So, But she has counterpick advantage, so she's going to be like, all right, which character are you going? And if he says I'm staying Archer, she might be like, all right, I'm going with Parasol, and Parasol might be able to butt fuck Archer in the face. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know what that matchup is. Stream froze, it looks like. She's staying. Dude, I, I, I think it, it depends on what character she's feel she's feeling she's playing more hot with is the thing. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Archer's not good when someone gets at his face and can like actually play rushdown. Archer's don't get me wrong. Archer's a very relevant counter pick because he's good versus both Gooey and Mago, who are two of the top three. Some people will just straight up tell you that they're the top two. 
So I don't even know. If, I don't even think Archer wins those matchups, but I just, but I think it's even. I think it's even, and I think the Archer players think more about those matchups than the Gooey and Megalar players think about Archer. Oh yeah, I I I completely forgot the stage existed when I um played Pizza at Frame Perfect. By the way, I didn't take him here at all. I don't think I would have beat him at. P I was really surprised I made him switch off Ninja at uh, Frame Perfect because when I played him the night before, he literally won like 15 games in a row. Well, he won like 20 games in a row in total, but 15 of those games were like straight Ninja. So I was really surprised that he switched off Ninja, and then he's beaten me the most recent times with Ninja, which is didn't surprise me. Yeah, nit yeah, it's like you want to be above Archer because Archer covers under him really well. The, the diagonal angles with the aerial dash attack and just straight in front of him. So he covers the ground. But if you have like a certain diagonal angle you can hit Archer at, then you're good to go. It's still pretty close, but if Zyvon gets like one big combo, that could be the game. Like, so I think just a dash attack to drill in the corner will do it. But the thing is, even though like, oh shit. Uh oh, Pizza's clutch, dude. Pizza's actually clutch, but Zyvon was clutch herself with that one HP game. Both these players are clutch, dude. She's trying to hit with the floating hitbox. He, Pizza knows that though. Oh my god, this game turns so much. I think Pizza won't. Oh no, I lied. I lied. Zyvon clutched out again. I I just thought I thought Zyvon. I, I was like, all right, Zyvon has to jump. She has no choice. She can't afford a, a like a low to the ground arrow. So my thought process was she's going to get hit for jumping. She's going to get sniped in the air, but she didn't. She found that one diagonal angle. Like I said, you need to find – well, I said it in the bomb game. You need to find certain diagonal angles, and she found it. So she's one game away from being in grands. I don't – dude, I legit don't think Zybon's even gotten top three before. I don't know if she's gotten top four before. So she's about to, like, go from fifth, which I think is her best placing so far, to guaranteed second if she wins this on winner's side. There's a huge, did he did he go back to Ninja? Like I said, I legitimately thought going into the set, Zyvon had a chance because Curry fan, who is not considered the best parasol, does have a pizza time win. And granted, it was pizza time's worst tournament. It's like it still happened. And Curry fan is good. Like he's beaten Theo. He's beaten he beat someone. Like he's beaten Theo. He yeah, he has that pizza time win, and I think he beat somebody else good too. And like I said, this matchup I can see being not bad because Parasol should be big enough where you don't have to interact with the, the forward air in certain ways. You don't have to interact with the shock. And if you don't have to, you don't have to interact with the shock and you can put out the ask frame data pressure. And I'm not sure how Cherry Blossom works, but right now he hasn't really gotten any time to get a Cherry Blossom out. And Zybon is like two or three straight hits away, one combo away from being in Grand's winner side. This is fucking huge. This is huge. Yeah, yeah, she's not getting it. She didn't do out. She didn't avoid the cherry blossom by move to move. She out maneuvered the cherry blossom by move. That's it. Zyvon, Zyvon and Grant's winner side. Five three over pizza time. Holy crap! Zyvon is having the stream froze. But that's okay. She probably she probably was like yeah. She probably like fucking slammed her desk. Probably like slammed her router, dude. Probably disconnected her router. <laughs> Alright, she's back, she's back. Yo, Zy yo, I kinda wanna yo, I'm gonna ask him if I can commentate on the mainstream. Yo. Yo, Zyvo. On the mainstream since my stream no longer needed. I've been reached. Hmm. I'm asking them right now if I can reach. Oh. Dude, Zyvon though, damn. Like I said, I like this bracket. Like, let, let's take let's take a look at the bracket, guys. Let's take a look at the bracket. The fuck? Why is there no single? All right, all right, all right. I was on. Okay, so right now, I looked at her bracket. So what was Zyvon's bracket? All right, so she beat Theo. She beat Bim, which I, I expect. I was like, you know what? I was like, she has a good... Yeah, because of that Curry fan win. And just kind of picturing uh, 
ninja parasol in my head i was like you know what ninja uh, parasol has the way to like put on pressure and uh, be aggressive in certain ranges that you can hit you can hit a uh, whip does too which is why i say which is why i'm saying i'm not losing to pizza time because whip is a bad matchup i'm losing to pizza time because he's out playing me which i think i can go whip and beat him damn all right I'll take a piss. I'll be right back, guys. That shit was hype. Oh, my God. Holy crap. All right, so Meomix is probably going to be streaming Lose Final 10 versus Pizza Time. Damn, though. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. All right, so we're going to check out the Meomix stream. Can't fucking type right now. Here we go. Oh, he turned off webcam. Okay. Is yeah, Ivan going in? I'm actually very grateful for Zyvon, by the way. Oh, so they're just going to restream it on Zyvon stream, whatever. I'm actually very grateful that she won because... Ba so basically, I'm basically guaranteed to be top three on the PR. It's going to be North America only. And the only threat of me like going down to like third... Because P47 is guaranteed first. He, he, he got it. P47 got it. So the only threat of me like um, losing my second spot, from what I know, is that if Pizza Time wins this tournament. Because... Me and Pete Simon both won one tourney, and he he was a head-to-head -head versus me. But I have P four seven wins, and I also I also have a shit ton of second places. So like, if Pete Time were to win this and have two first places, that might be a threat to me. But that's the only way. That's the only way I lose um top two on the PR. So even though Pete Time is my boy, like for the sake of rankings, I actually would want Zyvon to win this tournament. Honestly, I would want Zyvon to win this tournament anyway. Because, like, she's super fucking supportive of the community. Like, she, like I said, she streams, like, every fucking week. She uh, she does, like, tourney committee stuff. She does PR stuff, blah, 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 blah. And she has a great appreciation for the game and all that stuff. So, I I just feel like this deserves to be Zyvon's night, you know? So, I'm rooting for Zyvon. Uh... Oh my god, Bim and fucking Xander T going at it. They're like, I cannot do this shit, dude. This is funny as shit to read, though. I don't even... You know what? I, I'm gonna look at the fucking head down. Where the fu I'm too lazy to find the fucking challenge. Not challenge, fucking other uh, bracket. Where the fuck is it? Is it an attorney announcements? Rankings? Like, is it in here? I don't think it's going to be in here. It's not even loading. I don't care enough. But yeah, I know Xander T's beaten him a few times. Uh, I think Bim's beaten him a few times. They go back and forth. And it's like, dude, it's like, I don't know. They both have one good win, right? Croc has, uh, I, Xander T has Croc and um, Bim has Meow. Actually, Bim beat Bull at the very first tournament. The very first tournament, Bim did beat Bull. But I don't know how much weight you want to put into a fucking first tournament, you know. Like, half that top eight quit. Maybe not half. Like, the Kabazgo guy, he uh, he quit. Moshi quit. I'm trying to think. Who got seventh? Bull and someone else got seventh. I don't know who, who's the other person who got seventh. I'm going to find 
Uh, I, I, I actually don't want to look at this bracket just because it's like I got fucking 13th. But I'm curious how many people in the top eight quit, you know? Oh, but, but Noob Stack, he like entered one other tournament and then entered another. So he doesn't play anymore. So like, and Theo quit for a while. If Theo didn't come, if Theo didn't come back, you could have said that like half this top eight doesn't even fucking play anymore. I'm probably gonna end the stream. I got no one in here. Just gonna chill, watch him down. All right, peace, guys.